ladies and gentlemen of the internet, you are in for a treat tonight. So we are Myth Brigade. We are live here on Twitch, where Byron and Tyler secretly behind the scenes are going to play test with us. Sinister Scenes debut module entitled Saints and Sinners. So without further ado, Byron Wingate, scare the hell out of us, my friend. Welcome, guys, to Myth Brigade and Sinister Steen's collaboration project here. Uh, we have uh, been given the gracious opportunity uh, uh, to display a new playtest of a scenario that uh, uh, my favorite buddy, Tyler Wingate, and myself have been working on, uh, hopefully headed to the Miskatonic Repository later here in 2024. Sooner would be better than later, but, you know, hey. You know, projects get pushed in the back sometimes. So welcome, guys. Uh, we're excited to have you here. Please give us as much feedback as possible. Uh, you know, tell us how bad it sucks or, you know, what you would change different, what you like about it. Uh, all that is super, super helpful. Uh, anybody that gives us any feedback or anything like that, we will, uh, once we get it published, we will provide you with a link to a free copy of the scenario. And uh, we will give you appreciation in the credits, of course. So, welcome to uh, to Myth Brigade Sinister Scenes Call of Cthulhu Seventh Edition. Uh, got a wonderful cast here for you guys. Uh, go around the horn really quick uh, and uh, tell you who they're playing. Uh, so, um, why don't we just start with uh, with Mr. Brent Adams? Who are you playing today? Oh, um, so today I will be playing uh, Father James uh, Brighton. Uh, he is a um, bit of a, well, I, 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 based on his picture, I would almost describe him as a bit of a silver fox of a uh, uh, of a uh, priest who is um, definitely uh, way too, uh, too handsome to not be uh, married and uh, out there in the dating world. However, um, here, here he is. <laughs> uh, performing the last rites and uh, g getting involved. And he's a pretty decent person, as far as I can tell. <laughs> like a genuinely decent person. So I'm gonna try to play him as such. <laughs> nice, and uh, we have the wonderful Tara. Tara, who are you playing today? I'm playing John Wynn, um, Korean stonemason, young man, late 20s, um, pretty buff, works with his hands. A hard worker believes in safety believes in work ethic and a lot of it all right perfect and uh mr dan uh who are you playing today i am playing the south african zienda makizi and i too am a warm decent human being who cares about others <laughs> all as if they were my own family and then uh, new to like uh, one of my streams, I guess, would be uh, Garrett, or as you may know him. How you forget. <laughs> I have uh. a feeling for somebody who is crapping his pants and running through the woods. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> in that order. <laughs> yeah, in that order. So maybe. I am playing uh, Luca uh, Pasquier. A apparently like four foot tall French engineer. He's thirty seven, but looks fifty. Uh, he's got some social issues because he spent all his time trying to figure out how things work, and you know he's trying to get into the uh, <laughs> socializing. So screw you all. <laughs> It'd be fun. Lac de Dufran. Nice. Uh, and I don't think he looks fifty. You know, it's a black and white photo. Black and white photo. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, and uh, the wonderful Chantel, who are who are we representing today? Uh, I am playing uh, Polish journalist Zofia Wojniak. Um, although I now currently live in Prague, I am a fantastic journalist, but I'm really looking for material to write that book. That one book is going to just propel me to stardom. Fantastic, fantastic. And last but not least, Mr. Uh, Jason <laughs> Jones. Well, my name is Lash Kakazi. I was born in Bangladesh, India, though after completing my doctorate in history at Delhi University, I now reside at Gulabi Bagh, a neighborhood in the oldest part of the city. 
I concern myself with history because it is the only way to see the window into who we are. It is precious. <laughs> you will notice that I'm lean and shorter than average, with dark features and so-so hair. I'm not a handsome man, but I have been told my eyes are piercing and inquisitive. Might have been my uncle that said this, but I'm counting it anyway. I also wear very, very bright clothing. Currently, a golden yellow suit, purple paisley shirt, smart white leather shoes, because color reflects the sun, doesn't it? So yeah, that's me. That's, all right, welcome. Thanks, guys, for letting me know that. So we're going to do a little quick primer um, and just let people know out there that there are some content warnings for Call of Cthulhu sometimes. So uh, we will be examining from situations such as personal loss, high emotion, and maybe even dark moral decisions. So mm -hmm. something to keep in mind. If you don't like those things or don't want to be exposed to them, maybe be now. Um, so you all know each other. Um, you all work for the UNESCO uh, Heritage Foundation, uh, and you uh, live all over the world uh, and uh, have worked on a collaboration of projects before. Um, there is a old church in the Burgundy area of France uh, a outside of a town uh, named uh, Lien. Uh, and you guys are traveling there to basically give the final okay to say, all right, you know, structurally, maybe we need to help with these things, um, you know, um, you know, sociological wise, maybe there are some things that we need to look at. Um, Zofia is uh, definitely going to help with uh, how the um, the site is presented, um, you know, the reports that are written about it and so forth. Uh, and of course, the, the maybe the spearhead or the the I won't say necessarily the leader, but the uh, the person who is kind of in charge of um, turning over the final documents and stuff like that would be Zianda. Uh, the anthropologist um yeah. and uh it's modern day uh this designed to be 2023 uh because that's the year that we started writing it <laughs> hopefully you know it won't be 2026 by the time uh you know it gets out there but um so you could run this as a modern day scenario as we will today um but with that in mind you guys have traveled to uh Lyon, france uh, and you are kind of gathering at a, a place. Uh, you fly into uh, Dijon uh, Bougarge Airport. Uh, that is the closest airport uh, to where you are. Uh, and you basically place go in a five hour drive to uh, Cafe de Flore, which is a cafe in Lyon uh that you arrive at um and it is a beautiful day outside uh the sun is shining like i said you guys uh uh know each other uh and this is a a picture mm -hmm. of the cafe and the day that you are arriving at um and you kind of mostly get there together. Some of you uh, reunite at the airport, uh, travel in the same uh, rental car that you would have to drive here. Um, when it comes to like cash and money and stuff like that, it's just hand wave stuff today. We're not we're not uh, really worried about credit ratings or anything <laughs> nice. in this scenario. Oh, um, away. So you guys arrive here at the uh, the cafe. Um, from here, uh, you guys know that you will be taking a short drive through the countryside, uh, through another historical monument that we'll describe some more here in a moment. So go ahead and uh, you know kind of interact with each other here at the cafe, um, and uh, kind of reunite with each other. So you see Father uh, Father Brighton um, approaches the cafe, uh, no, uh, hold, holding his um, dress completely in his 
is priestly garb, and, uh, and and he has a a leather kind of side uh, a, a bag where he ca- where you know that he carries his Bibles, his tea bags, and a couple of other snacks as well. <laughs> uh, it, it, now uh, he he approaches it with an easy smile, um, and uh, and c- comes up to uh, Nugent. Or sorry, uh, is that pronounced correctly? Yeah. When? Well, maybe, when? Maybe Father Bragg just just call me John. It. Yeah, he mispronounces it. <laughs> John. <laughs> John, John. All the Americans call me John. It's fine. That, that works. Uh, so um, I basically um, I, I approach you and give you a warm hug. Hopefully, you're a hugger. I I am a hugger in that kind of bro way. Um, I'm not reluctant to do physical contact, but I'm also, you know, buff. And so I have to, and I, and I, you know, go to the gym and, and do manly stuff for, for my job. So, you know, when I, when I hug you, it's not, it's not a, a warm embrace. It's one it's of a those Christian side hug. I give you a, like a, like no, a I, I wrap my arm around you and I give you that firm yeah, pat, pat pat on pat, the back pat. thing, you know, <laughs> Might knock the wind out of you a little bit, oh. but it is with enthusiasm. So I see, I see your work has kept you very active. I, I, I say as I kind of crack my back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's been a little while. Yeah, it has been. What have you been up to? Staying oh. out of trouble, Father? Um, um, always, <laughs> always. There was I had to sort of counsel through. Uh, these, the, there was a bit of conflict at the congregation. Two two older people, uh, two older women had a, a bit of a disagreement o- over doctrine, and so I had to kind of uh, help mitigate that. Um, and of course, you know, the number of people attending is down, and we've had a number of funerals, so it's kind of been a bit dour lately. So I'm I'm happy to be here, frankly. Good to see you. Mm-hmm. And anyone else arrived yet? Um, Sophie actually walks in and she is, you know, she is in her late 40s. Um, You've seen her press pictures. She has that long blonde hair and she usually dresses very feminine. And as she walks, walks in, you see that she has cut her hair all off. She has a jean jacket and like cargo pants stuffed full of all the pockets stuffed full of like pens and like little notebooks and cigarette <laughs> uh packs and um you know she's got this barbie dream house of a thousand corpses uh shirt on and she's like patting down her her pockets sees you guys huh. hey boys uh any of you got a light i cannot find my lighter in all these pockets um no i uh, you, you know it's not good for you. I'm just saying. Uh, I know it's not good for me. That's why I do it. Yeah, but you could never mind. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, come here, bring it in. Absolutely, I'll hug the father. I think you wrap your He'll arms hug. around the father, and yes. from you, you're like hugging him. And your cigarette still in your mouth, and this horrendous color just kind of like oh, as I <laughs> and I light your cigarette, walking up behind the father. And just kind of put this book that I borrowed on the table next to him, trying <laughs> trying not to let him notice that it's seen better days. And I'm just going to head to the restroom. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good to see you again. Um, just Hello. need a moment, please. What's the book? You tell um, you tell me. Where are you from? I'm from America. But oh Jesuits. God, where in America? America! It's the history I'm, of I'm, Jesuits. I'm from, I'm from Boston, actually. <laughs> Can't you tell by his accent? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's no, this, no, this horrendous, even, like... Um, even better, Phil, I'm from Philadelphia. I go. think it's this horrendous splat book of, like, um, New England's most haunted places or something ridiculous <laughs> like that, right? I, just, I, I love it. it. Yeah. I, I I chuckle as I look down at it, and, and I'm and I'm just like, well, he's gone anyway. <laughs> I'm like spirit, all that spiritualism. Mm-hmm. 
What about the rest of the crew? What about oh, Blue? As Jason's Blue. walking into the bathroom, I, I'm just finishing washing my hands and then, you know, no, not drying. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, bonjour. And start grabbing your hand to shake. Oh, <laughs> why have they not, you not learned about towels yet? Oh, God, you always do this to me, right? Now my hand's wet and I can't wipe it on my wonderful faux At silk. At least in France, we have paper towel. Yeah, perhaps I do. And also manners, I am told. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll just kind of pat you on the shoulder as I go past. He's got toilet paper stuck to his shoe as he walks out. <laughs> I point this out <clears throat> in a very... Um... Oh, he turns bite, beet red. Top of his head, because he's really bald and really short. <laughs> so just oh. beet red. Kicks it off. Oh, just yellow fingered from chain smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Frenchie, come on over. You need one? I got one for you. Is the toilet paper just sitting there on the in the middle of the floor now? Pretty much, yeah. I surreptitiously. I'm I am dressed. By the way, I'm um the bigger guy. You know, buff cuts. Uh, you know. Oh yeah, he um, he goes around you always. Take take care I take care of my body and everything and I'm I'm dressed in like nice very well fitted clothing um, I've got a, a a jacket that just goes barely past my waist it's very modern very um, very simple very classic it's modern in in uh, materials and and design but very classically cut and very fitted. Um, same thing with my with my pants which are also a little stretchy uh i have to have a little bit of lycra because of, of the muscles and you know and and how physical i am and and um like a like a golf shirt but like a really high-end golf shirt there's a, a some fancy logo on it and um and uh they're very tasteful colors um neutral except for the shirt which picks up um whatever in my eyes um it's all very flattering simple and expensive looking and yet comfortable um and uh and i'm wearing some nice italian shoes leather and and um i barely touching this bit of toilet paper with the <laughs> with the toe of one of the show shoes i try surreptitiously to like slide it away from the general um walkway you know very off to the side where where it's going to be swept up very soon oh uh well i i i've got it i'll go over and very delicately pick it up and take it to a waste basket <laughs> and just it, it actually seemed the entire time I, I just kept on trying to stay engaged in the conversation but i kept looking over at the toilet paper just sitting there and eventually <laughs> when i see that that Jion just went ahead and uh, moved it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I got it. I got it. The, 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 the relief on my face is palpable. Oh, are we in that cafe that you showed a picture of earlier? Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm you still, can actually see it in dance background yeah. too. So, so for my appearance, like clothing wise, it looks like a TK Maxx special shirt with uh, the pocket. And the pocket protector obviously was put in after it already stains. We got oh, ink oh. all over the pocket. <laughs> Um, there's there's ink stains. He's got stuff written on his hands, and he's got a little notebook just hanging out. There was, you know, I think this is the same place that uh, uh, Vincent Van Gogh used to paint. And he's just sitting there drawing the shapes of the buildings around him. And like, oh, really, I, I had no idea. Vincent Van Gogh used to paint here. I think so. Oh, it looked, it looked like his painting, don't it? That's incredible. You see Sophia like behind for uh behind Luca just going <laughs> We're just like a play with it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my phone and be like, oh wait, uh, uh, it, not everyone's here yet. We have to make sure that we get a, a, a selfie with all of us. We have to, to to document this occasion, right? With that, Zianda comes bursting in. <laughs> She's all five foot one, black long curly hair, glasses, jean shirt, jean jacket, jeans, and flats. She immediately drops her bags and screams, oh my God! And she runs up and grabs uh, Wynn, the father, 
And who else you can? I'm gonna hug the Holy Ghost, the Father, and the Son all together. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shonda, I, I, I did, I did, I did miss your uh, <laughs> your way with words. <laughs> Two big kiss in the cheek, each of you. Mm. It's so good to see you all again. When she um, when she lets us go, I bear hug her and and pick her up and swing her around in a way that um, I've clearly done every single time I've seen her our entire um, acquaintanceship. She goes, Woo-hoo! she screams in joy. It's so I'm, good to see everyone. I she starts I'm, moving her feet up and down like a small child. I think I'm last in line for that super awkward hug that I give. That mm. I would rather not be touched kind of hug. The oh, me too. Weird Don't like worry, this kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and people that side hugs yes. all around. Very nice to meet you again. Bring it in, Z- Lashka. Bring it in. Zianda, it's very oh oh tight hug. Oh yes, tight oh, yes, tight. Yes. Oh, oh tight hug, tight hug, tight, too tight, too tight. Too tight. Cheek, like this. all over your cheek. Oh, okay. Except I'm short enough oh. that you don't even have to. Like, you just it's like up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is more embarrassing than if toilet paper. <laughs> So we are all here oh, again. All right, everybody. We, we got to get a picture, okay? Yep. I, we we got to commemorate this moment because nothing bad will ever happen to any of us. <laughs> what uh, is it can happen? So, uh, Lucas, you speak to French. You t- talk to them and have them take a take picture. I get the attention of one of yes, those I got, I got this. It's okay. I'll Did set the speak? timer on oh, my nice. camera because I'm a journalist. I've got my photography stuff. And so... I'll set it, we'll get everybody in place, and then I'll run in for our picture. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. cheese. I'll just be positioned in the back, like. <laughs> well, this, this will be entered into evidence after the madness sets, and I have a feeling. Right. <laughs> it's quite possible. Yeah. Quite possible. It's so you guys. I feel like a child in front of you. <laughs> you guys I lean in against you guys, I've got my arms crossed in front of me so that all my my biceps are shown to best advantage my shoulder you know through the strains of shoulder of my jacket a little bit just enough you know so you guys uh you guys get your selfie uh and kind of settle in with (laughs) each other talking about the stories of maybe what you've been doing for the while uh that you've been separated um, you, you guys go around, you probably see each other maybe once every quarter, once uh, every couple of months. You work on your own projects individually. Sometimes there's collaboration between a couple of you and, and sometimes uh, just uh, individually. Um, and uh, you guys um, basically, you know, you feel comfortable, you got your food and stuff like that. And you begin to um, take your drive to the site. So the place that you are looking for uh, is, like I said, it's about a, uh, it's about 12 miles to the southwest of uh, of Lien. Um, How many kilometers is that? <laughs> yeah, that many. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did. You uh, know how many kilometers it is? Use your phone. It's America six. number of quality. <laughs> it, is six. Oh. it is six miles. I don't know. You're um, using the freedom units. All right. It's uh, about 22 football fields. Yeah, that many. Uh, so you guys uh, go. So as you are uh, leaving the uh, outskirts of the city, um, you can see this is a, a picture of kind of like mm-hmm. as you're driving mm-hmm. past the old style of buildings and stuff that you have uh, amongst you there in this city. Um, and uh, are you guys, uh, do you guys take like one big like SUV with everybody in it? Or yeah, I think it's like one of those big vans. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you guys spend less on rental, you get your more stuff to spend on. You know, yeah, and it, it gives us a greater places. sense of community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who, so guys, who's uh, driving? <laughs> Digital Mistress says a 1970s RV. That would be amazing. Yeah, that would be great. That would be Goblin great. Riot. Who, who's yeah. driving this thing, I wonder? Um, who actually has a drive skill? I'll, I'll drive it. You're just so agreeable. I love this character, Brent. Can you <laughs> just go do it? I wouldn't be yeah, the best I, I think. I, 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 uh, I, I love it. It's like the, he just get to get in the front and then we'll uh, be driving, sing some songs along the way. It's good yeah, to sing. Remember, Father, it's 19.31 kilometers. 
So the okay. place that you're... What's that in miles? 12. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Enough time for like three or four songs. Don't sing the one about the hill. We've heard that one. It's We know about the hill. We don't need to hear it again. Well, but it's a classic. Which uh, one? Wait, what's that? What's the hill uh, one? I what thought I words? saw him on the hill the other day. He was on the hill. That one. I don't like I don't like that song. Oh. <laughs> now it's going to be stuck so in well. your head. Like this little light of mine. Yeah, th this little light of mine. This song I, I like. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. So, I sit, I sit up front little... with uh, with Father Jim and and uh, I I find like uh, a good pop music station on the radio. Oh while man! You guys are talking about what songs <laughs> to sing. It's like Kesha or something like that. He's having to listen to like. French pop. Or, or we can we can we can no, do that. Yeah. K-pop, you know, like yeah. it could I'm be, yeah. taking it easy you can, on you guys. You probably have it on a CD or something, right? <laughs> probably. I don't think All this right. this old boat's got a CD player though, so we're just stuck with FM. Oh, look, the eight track's still working. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be Queen in there then. Find a old Simon and Garfunkel cartridge in the glove compartment. A track. Pavarotti. <laughs> so, uh, to remind me, what is our topic this time? So, you guys are headed towards uh, the. Uh, the place that you are in best are basically going to be clarifying as um, whether or not you think it should be on the World Heritage site or not and do the final uh, approvals is a church. Site. It's an older church. Uh, it dates back um, several hundred years. Uh, it is on a hill and the name of it is called St. Duran. St. what? I'm sorry. St. Duran. St. Duran. Yep. Duran. Yeah. D U R E N N. Okay. Yep. Can and, I? Uh, we'll go. You're good. So as oh. you are driving along to get there, uh, you go through a small um, site. You may or may not know of it. Um, you probably do if you've done any research about this particular area uh, prior to coming here. Um, is a place called. Uh, uh, Order Sergla, and it is uh, a Oof. place. This was it is a um, completely historical uh, town. Uh, in 1944, this was the place of a massive uh, massacre, mm. where the Germans uh, during World War II basically executed the entire town. And this is a um, a historical site that is you can go there and kind of investigate and um, see these things. Um, and its presence here in the scenario is more to uh, pay homage to those who maybe lost their lives in the war, and also lest us not forget history, right? because mm -hmm. otherwise it could so it, uh, other than that it really has no direct historical link to the campaign just it's where its presence is and uh the fact that uh i'm going to point that out byron I, th I think that i would insist on stopping oh, right yeah, and absolutely. taking pictures and yeah, i think maybe yeah, yeah. some of the background they might have heard it the oh. first time from me because he's rambling on about it as he as he sees it approaching okay so dark yeah. Yeah, um, motion carries. Um, I, you know, this is a, a a historical site that was needlessly destroyed, and even you know, human lives notwithstanding, this was a beautifully constructed city, hand laid stone and brick, hand fashioned, and a work of art in and of itself, a miracle of technology for its time and and what the Nazis did to this I John gets emotional when when he talks about um the connection 
between the you know the ancestry of the area and the development of the of the um techniques used to create the brick and and where the you know the look the mud was found and sort the clay was sourced and and all that kind of thing and and the disrespect that they had of of the of the history um, and importance of the sites so um, there's a squeeze on your shoulder i think we've we've had similar conversations over drink uh before like so many temples back in my home people do not understand the how much of themselves are given to these buildings to just be cast aside and destroyed the they're life... important they're important they're not just buildings they're yeah. not just buildings a, a home is more a, 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 a house is more than just a dwelling it's a, a place where uh, people find respite and uh, they and find family and support a soft place to land if you will I've always appreciated your perspective on that Joan, because it's um, because I suppose because you build them with your bare hands, you know more um, about the spiritualism surrounding it than most. Byron, how many people died? Um, I have a pretty good uh, six hundred and some. Oh, look at that! Somebody's on the Google. Oh, somebody went. On. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, John's all over this. Yeah, six hundred forty-two men, men, women, and children. And children. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And one thing you do notice about the site too is that uh, so all of the crumbling walls, cars, and other household items have literally been left untouched for the last seventy-four plus years. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it would be actually um, it'd be more like almost eighty years that it's been this way. Uh, so because oops, sorry. yeah, no, go ahead. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I... You do. It's such a dark chapter of history. I can't believe that they never rebuilt. I mean, people just all got shot and killed here. I mean, oh, it's just terrible. It is terrible. That's why it has to stay this way. Mm. It's, uh, and I like it's find like pictures of everything, like close-ups of like a doll in the grass and all sorts of things, trying to write down as much as what people were saying. I'm looking at the at the walls and and I can see signs of. You know, there are places where there are fingerprints in the mortar where the the bricklayers smoothed the mortar with their fingers. They didn't have, you know, the fancy metal tools that we could use to get very, very consistent lines. You know, they would wet their finger and run it along the mortar. And, and, I, and I talk about that like you haven't heard this all before. Because of course you have, um, but, but but not here. And sometimes you say something new. Sometimes, not every time, but this time maybe there is. I'm I'm there right, just soaking it in. <laughs> I, look, yeah. the, look at this fingerprint. The the finger that made this wall. That person could have been killed, and they are likely one way or another here, still. Yeah, in their final resting ground here forever permanently connected to this place, to this work. I think this inspires me to, to bring up an unwelcome excerpt from the book I borrowed from the father. Not on like the one <laughs> the one house up there in, I just, you, it, I get shushed, I'm sure. And, and, and uh, but yeah. I, I, I'm like, could I bother? Um, would anyone like to uh, join me in a prayer for, for these people? I feel like it'd be appropriate. Not that you, you don't have to, if you don't feel comfortable with it, but. Oh, you know, you know that I will join you. I'm, I'm very, um, agnostic, but not atheistic. I, I consider myself spiritual. I don't, uh, don't, uh, adhere to any particular, this is Tara talking about my character. John doesn't adhere to any particular sect or anything, but, um, but respects father jim's spiritualism and commitment and so of course i'm going to support him and you know I, i'm probably going to you know however he wants to do this joining hands or bowing heads i'm just going to frame it in my head in 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 a way that is respectful yet personal oh yes let's all join hands i'm gonna frame <laughs> it in my lens and just taking pictures of all sorts all angles I want to try to get one from like the ground up if you're in a circle too. So I was like, father, don't, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just documenting. Oh no, but that's perfectly fine. Um, We're this is the way you. that I pray. 
Nice. Sophia, this is we're used to your your how you feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Motion. I'm already like a half mile up the road with like a laser finder, like range finder. <laughs> oh. yeah, I got a protractor out and I'm measuring, checking mm-hmm. the angles of the buildings and writing stuff. I haven't heard anything you guys are talking about. I think I would link hands, but I would I would be mur- murmuring to myself the Om Namo Narayani, uh, which is uh, sort of a mantra to the dead. So I'd oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, th- this is the brief prayer, I would say. Um, it, 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 it commended brothers and sisters to Almighty God and entrust you to your creator. May you return to him who formed you from the dust of the earth. May Holy Mary, the angels, and all the saints come to meet you as you go forth from this life. May Christ, who was crucified for you, bring you freedom and peace. I say some other ones, but that's the one I use for us together. I would sort of nod my head and excuse myself. Are you going off to pray by yourself, Father? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. (laughs) I will get some discreet shots. Absolutely. Like, some discreet shots. Some, like, nice little, like, oh, there's a morning fog, and look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Father, if you would, could you pray a little bit more facing south? Uh, uh, sure. I, I go ahead and I, I turn, I turn around a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The no. this Gotta way. be east to west. <laughs> make, make duck face. Make, mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Did you cry a little bit, father? I, <laughs> it, I feel like that. I feel like forcing crying would be a little <laughs> overhead, but hey, no one can tell you. It was said with just a little here. loving it's me. sarcasm. Just in your lane, you've got all the muscles and the whatever. Just give me my camera and my words. That's true. All right, you, so know you know that this spend... is affectionate teasing. Oh, I know. You guys spend uh, a little while here kind of absorbing the town. Um, there's no real, like, you guys are here for the duration of whatever you want to spend. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. when it comes to, like, the amount of time that you have to kind of investigate the site and stuff like that, you kind of under your own uh, uh itinerary. So, like, you don't have a set thing where, like, on Monday you have to be back in you know, what have you with this particular project. Um, This is probably about, it's about eight miles away from St. Duran. It's about four or five miles outside of um, Lyon uh, in this area of France that this exists. You guys load back up in the the car uh, and begin to uh, finish your drive uh, up to the mountains. You do know that you will have a couple of workers uh, that will meet you at the site uh, at St. Duran to kind of help you with anything that you need. Uh, two local gentlemen who will be uh, available for you to uh, to use uh, as you're investigating the site and so forth. Um, so you get back in the car and you are uh, driving your way there. Zofia, you're kind of writing in your journal and, um, you know, uh, writing some notes maybe about uh, the the place you just visited uh, and, and just in general, like a, ch- a checklist or whatever. Mm. So, uh, oh, I, I do beat Jiang to the, uh, the car and before um, he can turn on awful J-pop music, <laughs> I go ahead and, st- and start singing Kumbaya with everybody uh, yeah and, and, and i give him a little saucy grin as i as i knew what he was doing the last time <laughs> i roll my um, eyes good naturedly and join in i'm gonna offer luke a cigarette mm-hmm. yeah baby i gotcha so luca as you reach for the cigarette uh, tiny stubby little arms. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, you drop it and it it falls onto the floorboard of the car, unlit, oh, of course, and it falls onto the floorboard of the car. Come on. You reach your hand down there, and I mean, you guys have some luggage and stuff like that, baggage that you just brought that you just kind of shoved in the back of the. You probably have it at your hotel space, you know, where you're gonna stay, um, and. You reach down and you feel like 
something wet and like leathery. I'll yeah, I, I, I pull my hand back like Ugh! like I just got done touching the dog turd and I oh. look down. <laughs> Are you okay? Is there something on the ground? It's so slimy. I'm gonna look down there. All right. It looks like a a hat. What the heck is this? Is it under my it looks seat? Like any hats that these guys wear? Uh, it's at the feet of pretty much where uh, where Luca was sitting. All right, hold on, hon. And I'll try, I'll go down and like try to grab it. Yeah, you can yeah, get it. He's blushing yeah, now yeah. that you're reaching kinda, his leg. Kind of under the seat. Kind of <laughs> under the seat. My arms are longer, hon. The, Let me get it. On the thing. Oh. Um, so you notice that you notice that the floorboard and so forth is is not wet, but the leather is like damp. So it is a. Uh, uh, See, trying to think of what uh, what type of hat it is. It's it's kind of a it's a military style cap, uh, leather on the top, cloth around the edge with a leather brim. Um, sort of like an officer's hat or something. It, kind of like an officer's yeah. hat, okay. but but also not necessarily okay. like an officer's hat. You can give me a uh, you can give me a history, history check. check. I loved I would kind love of, to do uh, that. Try to uh, wrap your head around. Um, what type of hat it might be. All right. So one of those ones wow. like for the village people? May I do that? Sure. Hey, success. That rarely use skill hat identification. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So, um, I see. No de chapeau. Uh, an extreme anthropology uh, thing there. Um, you recognize it. It's a it's a German Kriegsmarine hat. Oh shit! It's one that you would expect like an an officer to wear on a U boat, but it's damp, like it was just in water, like not that long ago. Where did that come from? I'm was this sure in here before someone lost it? This is an they, heirloom. They probably rent these vans out multiple times a day. That's the last people who are here, I guess, must have, have left it. We should return it to the rental agency. This is worth a, pe a pretty penny. Is it, it's in pretty good shape, Byron, or is it? Does it's it look old. its age? It's worn. Oh yeah, it looks its age. Okay, it looks does its it look age. Does it look like it's been underwater for the amount of years that it might have been there? No. Strangely no. enough, it looks it? as if like he someone would have just taken it off like it doesn't look like it's aged 80 years it looks like it's just old and worn as if someone was still wearing it i have to say too that i not be water that might be sweat i was thinking the same thing i, I lean forward I and <laughs> i have hand sanitizer so it's a very salty smell you would recognize <laughs> it as like the smell of salt water mm. more salt water, like salt water sweat how far are we from the ocean? I was going to say, how far are we from the ocean? Not. Yeah, it's very close. I don't think. Not that far. So you're kind of headed southwest from where you are. So you're actually getting closer and closer to the coast. Um, but it's it's a good distance. But uh, not that close. Even if the yeah, hat was close. even if the hat was in the ocean, it would be drier than this by the time it was returned. Something is amiss here. Is, is there a bag or something that might contain some water under the seat, like? That it could have been sitting in? Uh, I'm going to assume at this point you guys probably have pulled the car over. Yeah, like dig around under the seat. Yeah, yeah. to like yeah, look yeah, around. Something, like a water bottle or something that's filled? Or? Anything other than this hat. I'm just covering myself in disinfectant. Uh, yes, yeah, get into my bag. I have a whole big bottle. Just in This case. is a <laughs> weird question, but was anyone thinking about a hat just before? Is that a car thing? seat for me there? Oh. <laughs> I did bring a booster seat. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath <laughs> your booster seat. I love Dan's Somebody background. has to sit in that. I just, you know. But I didn't want I didn't want you to feel bad about yourself. So mm -hmm. I, I just figured that if, if, if the opportunity came, I'd mention. <laughs> Good thing it was under your feet, because if anybody, any of the rest of us, we'd have stepped on it. Mm. Oh, oh, you're so funny. 
Yeah, well, who it's kind of like who found the hat. Luca found the hat. Found it. Luca, yeah. Luca were you thinking it. about a hat before you found it, or just did it just appear? I think about hats. No. No. Who, okay. Who thinks about if hats? He thought, if he was, if he was thinking about hats, well, maybe he was because he's out there half a day with no hat on, and a bald head. Well, you know, my, my colleagues, they're a little out there, but they were doing this paper on manifesting things. And they said, like, you know, if you're thinking about it and then you find it, it could be that you made it. But it's kind of a weird thing to find a World War II sweaty U-boat captain's hat. Zeander, so he, he is not sitting sometime. in the back of the van thinking about wet hats. This is not happening. Well, the the Holy Spirit does speak to us in mysterious ways at times. So in, in, sure. in, other, way, in other words, perhaps Luca... That that may be um, God's way of telling you that, that has to be a German U-boat pilot. What? No, no. It, it may be God's way of telling you that you need to make some adjustments in your life in in order to get more aligned with what God's plan is for you. Interesting, mm -hmm. interesting idea. Well, Luca, keep an open mind. You never you know. Should, you, you should keep an open mind about that. Yeah. I could have a conversation with you about that uh, later on when we get back from this about maybe what what steps you might want to take. But may I see this actually, as they're talking about all this, I just kind of <laughs> snatched the hat and I'm looking for, you know, people would label, I look in, on the inside mm -hmm. to look for like mm -hmm. a, a name tag or something or- Or any insignia God, on it at all. God is trying to tell us to return someone's hat back to them because they have lost it in our van. I'm, of, of course, well, I'm sure they have a lost and found or something like that and that and we, we can return it. Or we can we can put post it um on uh, on the internet. Um, or you'll know what I might think that. maybe uh, they said, hey look, there's a French guy in the car, and we just went through a freaking cemetery full of dead French people. Let's fess with them. Wait maybe a it was minute. One of you. Which which among us would be a prankster? Big guy. He's looking right at big guy. When you win, did you do this again? <laughs> Is this you? <laughs> The last no, time it was a plastic cobra like in my hotel room. To do that. No, the plastic cobra was funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is just dumb. This is yeah, it's kind of obscure. It's not really, it's not really that amusing. Who else keeps putting frogs in my bags? Yes. Know, Byron, is there a name? Run a bag of salt water to keep it wet. I mean, this is weird. Is there a, a label on the inside, a name to anything that would indicate is, ownership? There is not. It looks like maybe if there was a label or something at some point, it was worn off in the amount of time that it was uh, it was actually used. Um, you do find like a a fine blonde hair. But it, it, it definitely not mine. Eh? How long? Um, short. Okay. Short, not very long. Uh -huh. It's odd. Why are we obsessing about a hat? Because, because it shouldn't be here. That's the problem. It, the problem is why is something where it should not belong? Everything's you know, where it belongs. Yeah. It belongs as I, there. As I think about history, like the history of this place as well, um, like the Germans that, that massacred this place, how did they get there? Like, were they... Did they march in? Were they dropped off by U-boat and brought in? Kind of bits, bits they were stationed, kind of they were stationed there. Uh, they were part of uh, um, one of the Panzer divisions. Okay, and they, okay. were, they were stationed there. And then after the um, assault at D-Day in Normandy, um, that's when they kind of, uh, they massacred these people and left the area. I mean, this is obviously a left, Leftovers of the, the German outposts in the area? No, they they randomly actually went to that town. It, they actually didn't. They weren't stationed there. Um, mm -hmm. It was actually kind of mysterious as to no one really knows why they selected that town and why anything. Because there's nobody here to the poor occupants scream, is my guess. There are well, plenty of places for for people to yeah, hide. This, this, this could be a good thing. This could be a sign that we are exactly on the the right path. Well, I, you know, it could Father, be a I sign. I don't think a wet Nazi hat is usually a, a sign of something good. I'm going to go I'm with just throw that still. out there. I think we just go we'll before somebody tries to put a dead there, snake in my pants. There's a large ruin hey. here, and some, some local children obviously have found a hat and it threw it into our van to, to uh, unnerve us. We should go. 
No one throws soggy fascist caps in vans to make people nervous. Well, well yes. these people clearly do. We've not visited well, here before. There's a soggy Nazi cap in our van, and it's That's made us the song nervous. Title right there: soggy uh, fascist caps. I'm just oh, gonna man, don't don't it making me nervous. It's just gross touching wet hat that don't belong to me. You I'm found it. Go ahead and just start start driving. Look, you didn't uh, smoke right. that cigarette. Yeah, I was yeah, like, you get back, next you to get back on there. Uh, of course, the hat and a variety. Oh of other God, things. honey, get another one. Don't don't smoke the soap. <laughs> no. the... Does the hat eventually dry out? Yeah, but... I mean, you're in the car for a while, but you're not in the car long enough for it to really dry. Why are we in the car so long? It's only four miles. No, it's it's been about four miles out of town that you came to here. Yeah, we stopped. Yeah, you stopped. You, okay, you this is where... really weird. Let's get going, eh? I do like the idea of it being the hat of eternal moistness, though. Yeah, yeah. of eternal moistness, yeah. I mean, yeah. we're Except like... That it's this is not Dungeons so & Dragons, Father Jim. We're in Burgundy. We're a thousand kilometers from the Hegelin Bight. I mean, that's the closest body of water. Yes. Mysterious ways, Zeonda. Mysterious ways. Mm. This is somebody fucking with us. This metaphysical thing is weird. Just sometimes what happened to Lashka? Something happened to him. Uh-oh, climbs back in the car. Luca, do you have any connection to this town at all? Who? Who? Luca. Not that I'm aware of. You're our local Frenchie. Are, do you have any... Um, he's from France. It is not necessarily local. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, do you have any connection to this? And not that I don't I'm know. Aware, no. Mm -hmm. Ooh, did you have family that used to live in that town before the... I imagine you know your own history pretty well. I don't believe so, no. Oh. Well, maybe you were meant to find it. That is very creepy, whatever they mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Luca. It's okay. I, I just think that, like, I just think that worrying about... Are you about... talking to me or your cat? <laughs> worrying about him being fearful, Luca, is not it, it, it is not going to... Uh, and not to mention, um, we have the, this uh, building to see if we can... Uh, we can... We're trying to... Byron, we're trying to save this building, Yeah, right? so it's an old church. Yeah, it's an old church, and you're trying to, like I said, it's... verify that you know, it should be uh, historical. So as you guys uh, are finished driving your way to St. Doren, uh, you approach it on the road that you see in the picture. Uh, it's up kind of high on a ridge. Uh, there is a um, small uh, river that runs on the east side, which would be the right side of the, um, the ridge. Uh, and it kind of separates it from a kind of large swampy area that is off to the east. And uh, that is the church that you see in the pictures as you drive up to it. What time of day is it when you arrive, Byron? After our uh, ex uh, escapades? Maybe mid afternoon. Okay. I would think you guys are early. You know, you guys had late flights. Got you know, got in, you know, uh, and so forth. And so it's still it's still easily daytime. Uh, enough that you planned on spending some time here at the yeah, church. Yeah, scout it out and then probably head back for yeah. a, a, a review. Okay. Yeah. Um, are any of the, are is there any other like local team here or someone to prepare things for us? Yeah. So as you as you drive in, uh, there are uh, two. There's an old beat up uh, French pickup truck. Uh, it's, you know, rusty. Uh, you think it's maybe held together with straps and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's not uh, not well taken care of. Uh, but uh, you see uh, two two guys smoking uh, cigarettes uh, by uh, the truck just kind of standing there. Uh, looks like they're waiting. Uh, one is wearing kind of a, a brown vest, uh, kind of Sleeve like uh, and some pants and work boots. Uh, you could see a variety of like implements, whether they be tools like digging tools or whatever the case may be, kind of sticking out of the back of the pickup truck, buckets, things of that nature, uh, and uh, tarps, ropes, things like that that you would find there. Uh, and uh, a very skinny uh, 
uh, man. He's he's very tall, so he's like about six three, six four. Uh, for a Frenchman, he's he's kind of tall, uh, and uh, very skinny, very pale. Uh, doesn't look like he's out in the sun a lot. Uh, very uh, gaunt. Uh, you can see his his cheeks uh, are kind of caved in a little bit, uh, and uh, he has a a very big smile on his face. And, uh, and so you guys come in, and the, the guy, the 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 very short guy with the the kind of bulging hat, kind of waves at you. He's got like a a, a little more of a uh, oh, what kind of hat. Am I trying to think of like a fedora, a big feather sticking out? <laughs> Hell of it. yes, uh, my people. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and he kind of waves you waves you over, and uh, it, it, you guys park, I guess, and uh, and dismount or disembark from your mm-hmm. from your vehicle. Uh, he comes over, and uh, he's he's uh, the smell of nicotine comes off of his breath relatively uh, prominently, mm-hmm. and he says, oh, "I didn't think you guys were ever going to make it." He's like, "I am you, Peppy. This is uh, Marco." Uh, no. are, so good to see you. Yes, uh, they pay us a few dollars to come here every day for you, so you get to whatever you would like. Mm. I go up and firmly shake his hand. Oh, yeah, these strong ones. What do you think he's an Amazon driver? Lemon lime. Why is why is your Gatorade already warm? So I have a mi- a micro story that's actually funny. I, I, I apologize uh, to all of our French viewers. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, and and you guys and Indian ones as well. <laughs> all, all half of them. Oh, oh my god, Jason just started and immediately Look. just. I was like, oh my god, I love it. I was uh, I was writing things down about every little character. I, I had three through. days in Paris, and this is payback. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Yes. I bet you have some good stories about being in Harry. Oh, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> nice forehead. Always a nice forehead. <laughs> so I, I got to tell a, a, a quick Gatorade bottle story because our, our drummer watches this. So um, we had a guitar player once upon a time who had a bladder the size of a thimble and only had to go to the bathroom when we were late for shows. I was going to say, that sounds like a Metalocalypse song. And uh, we were on our way to North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, we, we had already stopped like five times to eat or whatever. And, and uh, we're, we're on our way to North Carolina to play some shows. And this dude's got to go. And we were over it by then, right? So we're just like, you know what? You should just use this Gatorade bottle. So he does. Except that there's a semi that pulls up right next to us. There's like not tenant windows. And, and this, I love this semi driver. I don't know. His passenger was like looking down <laughs> and making him beep the horn. So this semi driver is... So Chad gets freaked out and winds up peeing all over his hand and the bottle and everything else. It was amazing. Where's Dan? Oh, there's Dan. All right. Yeah, Speak my yeah, name, I shall appear. But, but Tara and Garrett are gone. Oh, there's Tara back. Tara. Yes. Garrett, I did, 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 I, I said, <laughs> Garrett comes back. All right. <laughs> All right, let me make a note of the 104. That's where I got to cut to. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, All right. We're doing good. (laughs) Damn it, Dan. (laughs) He's doing that on purpose now. God damn it, Dan. (laughs) Damn it. Yeah. Hey, don't take the Lord's name. Oh, he's got the look at his background. Yeah. Yeah. Van with the child seat. Yeah. Yeah, He's been changing his background all the time. For Lucas. That's That's for for Lucas. Lucas. Yeah. I know. It's for Luca. <laughs> it's right. He lives on the second floor. All right, my cut. feet still don't touch the ground. Yes, I think I've seen <laughs> him before. <laughs> nice. Okay. So yeah, you guys are talking to uh, Giuseppe and Marco uh, and uh, so forth. They're like, "Hello, what, uh, what, uh, what do we need to do for you?" Um, you have the keys um, to to let us in. Is it mostly collapsed or? Oh, the doors don't lock. Oh, oh, the doors don't lock anyway. No, no, they 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 need to be uh, rebuilt. Probably, I don't know. You have to you have to look. Um, well, because we're looking at it as a historical site, um, a, a lot of its its quaintness would be, actually be uh, retained for future generations. So, I don't know how much renovating would actually happen. 
Oh, uh, some of it looks pretty good still, but uh, you know, uh, some uh, some of it not so much. Uh, it is, you know, we we looked around a little bit, but uh, the river is the current is strong. You want to be careful uh, okay. down there. Oh. Uh, can you give us a tour of the place? Can you walk us around a little bit so uh, we know what we're looking at? Tell us uh, what we you know. Look around the outside so much. Okay. We'll oh, show us around the on. outside. Let uh, why don't you uh, show us the areas of that you've noticed are still in really good shape, and the note the areas that you think need the most work or maybe structurally unsound at this point. Oh, sure, sure, yes. Uh, follow us. Uh, come, come, Marco. Let's show them. And uh, so you, you guys wander kind of uh, down the road, uh, and. Uh, it's it's just a little little driveway here that kind of leads to this not so much a road that continues on uh past the the church and uh you go down um and the the main out the outside of the church is it's all rock it's all uh stone uh mason together of course uh it's not brick but uh it is you know solid stone work um and you could tell uh, the the church bell there that you could kind of see the the parapet up at the top of it. Um, it looks as if there was a fire there at some point. Um, you could see where the the flames burnt the the brickwork and stuff. Still evidence of the soot and uh, maybe some of the 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 roof looked pretty good. Like maybe it was repaired after that, but they didn't didn't scrub the brickwork or anything like that. And he's like, uh, the inside looks pretty good uh, from what we can tell. Uh, no evidence of uh, leaks or anything from the roof. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we didn't really spend much time in there. We're not supposed to be in there, you know. <laughs> and <laughs> but, you are, uh, you're local from here. What can you tell us about what has happened to this place? This uh, fire seems... Uh, we Brave. we come here, but uh, not not so much local. But uh, you know, uh, the swamp. They they always say bad things about it. It's very foggy at night. Mm. Very very foggy. What mm. other kind of things do you hear about it? What do the locals say? Oh, the people disappear. Um, you know, all, all kinds of stories. Uh, mm -hmm. People well, say, <laughs> well, in. And Marco kind of speaks up a little bit. He says, uh, "Tell him about the girl." He's like, "Oh no, that's, uh, don't worry about that." Uh, hey, go, bro. Go, let's go. <laughs> hey, Holmes. <laughs> yeah, wanna... <laughs> oh, please they're, don't leave. They're very Latin French with uh, with uh, <laughs> yeah. Italian names. If you haven't noticed, it's just funny. yeah. Okay. <laughs> We can't all be superstars like like Jason. I pull I know, I, your, like I pull like a I can't do French. euro whatever out of my out of my pocket, put it into Marcos. Tell me the story of the girl. <laughs> it's like uh, well, uh, uh, people say she's the one they see before people go missing. Mm -hmm. oh, Sometimes, well. I think the fire had something to do with her death, but I think she died on these grounds somewhere. Perhaps. Who, who is she that you speak of, this girl? Hmm? Well, the, the one in these stories that they tell you about sometimes. I think mostly uh, parents make up stories to, to scare the children. You know, it is much easier to make up stories mm -hmm. than to tell the truth of how people can die in the swamp. Um, many things, and I, I rattle off. I'm, I'm huge in natural world, and so I'm just going to give him a couple examples. <laughs> well, right. with magic hats, why don't we just add in Will O' Wisp? Yes, yes, we will. Yes, hey, we will story we tell ourselves. What Absolute sarcasm know. on my part, mes amis. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question, though. Does the girl ever wear like a sweaty Nazi cap? <laughs> That wow. is a great question, eh? Wow. Yeah, I mean, we're really going there title. with the app. Does yeah. the girl have a name, or is she always just known as the girl? The girl. Uh, Fraulein, uh, probably, eh? No, I don't, I don't believe anyone ever associated the name with her. Hmm. Do we have any actual history as opposed to... Yeah, we got to pull uh, records before coming here, right? Don't you think? Right. Yeah. 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 Sent us so, here, so it was it was a prominent church back in the 
um, from like the 1600s into the early um, 1800s. And uh, after that, it kind of just was a place that's been here. Um, its structure has been reused occasionally as, as storage and uh, a variety of things. The surrounding populace, especially during uh, the latter half of the 19th century or 18th century, um, or I'm sorry, the 20th century, excuse me, would have uh, used it as a, a place of refuge and so forth at, at times. It definitely has a connection to the, the populace and uh, was used as a symbol uh, of hope with the fact that it was up here, kind of could be seen from miles away. Um, and the light always sh shone upon it to remind you that God was there to protect you. And uh, gave a link of, of hope and so forth during the occupation of France and uh, and years before that, you know, both World War One and World War Two. Was there any is there any mention of it being specifically used as as harbor or or anything in World War Two? Uh it wasn't uh it wasn't attacked or anything by uh like the Nazis, um, despite the fact that, you know, Odor Saglan was was so close. Uh but you know, it's it was definitely used as a place to hide and so forth, even though you could see it for miles away uh, during the brighter parts of the spring and stuff like that. It's it's uh, it was difficult to see due to the foliage and and so forth in the surrounding when hills. When they describe the ghost, do they ever say what she was wearing? Um, plastic lady in white, huh? Just a, 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 yeah, yeah. A blue uh, and white blue shift. Blue and white shift, or like a, uh, like, like a, uh, a nun's, like a, uh, an acolyte sort of. That's no, not the word I want, but no, not uh, not so much that. It's just a uh, like a handmade Later. dress. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go off and do something that's actually rooted in the physical world, eh? Oh, yeah, I, 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 he goes off. I, I would go with, I, yeah, I would go with. And inspecting, inspecting because, the uh, the damage of the uh, building and the doors. Here's the story. I do see my, I do see my friends kind of going down this rabbit hole. I, I, I'd say, in times of extreme tragedy and suffering, people need to have something to cling on to, something sometimes even beyond God, the Holy Spirit, and so <laughs> like a, like a stone <laughs> building, yeah. Oh, uh, oftentimes urban legends arise from from these delicate situations. Uh, Fair enough. We are merely yeah. evaluating the historical significance of this building and this site to the local area. This is what we are here to do. Mm -hmm. I, 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 paranormal well, investigator. I, yeah? No, 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 no. Because this is part of the site. As we look at the juxtaposition between the this is a beacon of hope and also a place where this ghost girl is. You know, are we? trying to brighten the horror of this by making it hopeful or are we trying to shade the hope by bringing ghosts and evil into it i i, well, le I lean so into luca yeah, I, I i don't want you to make what you write up about a mere urban legend and miss the sweetheart have i ever done anything like that before you did oh, make well, you well, did I know what it is just relax Everyone's relax asked. relax by the way if you want to talk about holy spirit well, you, you, do have, you do like you do like a little bit of sensationalism. You I did get. Oh, I know. Seven days, baby. Seven days, and I'll, or I'll put my son on a cross. Sophia, right, whatever. You did make quite a lot of an impression critically with your piece on the murderous goat, if you recall. Mm -hmm. We understand. Mm -hmm. We understand. All right, all right. Let's get back to the task anyway, anyway. and oh, task at hand, everybody. I will help you survey, Luca. It's important Luca. for us to know the local rumors to be able to to mm -hmm. separate the wheat from the chaff, the the fact from the fiction, the sheep from the goats, the things the to go into the, the tourist goats. manual, mm. Mm, the girls from the hats. All right. You guys do that. I'll be taking a look at the building. Ship. Absolutely, Luca Jr. Often guys... these local legends are built on some kernel of truth historically. Uh -huh. So it is, it is not completely invalid for us to gather this information without judgments or create it to investigate the site. 
That is yes. a realistic way of mm -hmm. looking at it. And, yep, yep, and yep. I had to make sure we weren't going on flights of fancy with this whole thing. And no, no, no. I'll take out my tape recorder and record what um, he says as he says it to get the oral history down. Obviously, a big part of anthropology. Yeah, so, absolutely. This site Pseudo is fascinating. Pseudoscience, eh? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think Luca and I are off. I'm I'm assisting him. Yeah, my, yeah. my laser rangefinder and measuring stuff and checking the uh, st structural integrity, checking the doors, the hinges, anything mechanical, plumbing. So, yeah, Sion, so they're taking care of the structure. We're taking care of the soul. It's okay. That's right. You let oh. us know that chemical composition of that ground. Mm hmm I can do that too, eh? Yeah, yeah. Um. It does the the description of her her dress, her shift, the blue and white one? Does it sound like something from the current period, or something more traditional in this area, from my anthropology knowledge? Uh, something more traditional. Okay. Yeah, you would expect something from like the seventeen hundreds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that really? Yeah. 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 yeah and don't we need to find some other of the clothing? And when was the first reported Are we talking sighting like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, that kind of blue and white dress? Uh, yeah, maybe something like that. That would be a good description of it. And I ask him, when was the first reported sighting of the girl? Do you know? Like, when did it, has it always been said, or is it like something that uh, started in the 70s? Uh, so Giuseppe seems to be a little more tight-lipped about it. Uh, but Marco kind of will tell you, can you give me a, uh, why don't you give me a, um, Maybe a psychology or um, a charm, persuasion, something like that, mm. to, uh, as you talk to him. Oh, I got off of that. Could I also do a pro? Oh, my God. Oh, I rolled a one. Well, oh, forget that. One. I'm not even looking at anything. Yeah. Uh, so, at yeah, it, Anda. The Anda, you're, you're so used to talking oh, to is. people, especially, yeah. you know, that's, this is kind of like one of your local things between you and Father Brighton. Uh, you guys typically are pretty connected to the uh, overall people, and also even uh, Lashka, because uh, uh, Laksha's got, uh, you know, a very high sociology, um, and uh, and even Jian, because Jian's a, a very likable guy. So, um, yeah, he he opens up to you quite a bit. He says, "Oh, these stories, the stories have been around for as, as long as I can remember, but." Uh, uh, people say that uh, it was haunted. That's why the Germans never came here. Hmm. Haunted, you say? Yes. Interesting. The and fire. Was it haunted. The, I'm sorry. The fire in the bell tower. Uh, it's it's. No one knows when it happened, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it uh, it has left a, a lasting mark there, um, from what I understand. Uh, I I am afraid I I am well I am I am too cowardice to go. I bet Luca could figure that out. But perhaps, perhaps. But uh, so since the fire, and we don't know how long ago that was, but basically, as long as anyone can remember, this young woman or old woman? A uh, young girl, young girl, young girl, young girl, meaning twelve to fifteen. Six to eight. Yeah, her age has never really been talked about too much, but small, small enough. When she sat on chair, her legs not touch. <laughs> we all look at Luke. Luke could be variety. He's like, we're like way away from there, and you're like, yeah, look at that little. Yeah, fellow. we got that guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have you ever witnessed the ghost? No, this is my first time really being here. Okay. We we do uh, stuff, uh, projects, so forth, uh, throughout throughout France and in Europe, for a variety. Just give hand when needed. Local uh, handyman per se. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Are there any anyone in town that you know of who has seen the ghost firsthand? Oh, I, I don't know of anyone who's seen it firsthand. Mm. Just uh, stories, That's stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I I keep on looking at Zionda very disapprovingly. 
<laughs> as this conversation continues. What's, I, what is disapproving for? I, I, I just know this mentally because I rolled a one. Psychology. Oh no, it's easy. You 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 you, you can t- you've seen this look on Father uh, <laughs> Brighton's face before when someone's going down a, a a rabbit hole that he doesn't like. He just sits there and 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 basically does like the father look at you and just seems to quietly disapprove of you. I wink at you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Don't worry, Father. It's gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like this is not what we're here for, just urban legends. Remember? We don't know what we're here for. That's the point. We're exploring everything. You're not even talking about anything other than urban legends, and that's it. This is the this is the oral history of the place. I'm, true. You know, I'm, I'm going to go with them yeah. and take a look elsewhere. I, I'll go ahead and, 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 walk, the... and walk with Luca and, and, mm. and John in, in, in exasperation. Hmm. Why, why don't you and Luca go up to the second floor of that tower and uh, check out, see how old that fire is? Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Luca, would you like to go what take a, a look at the tower? So we, Byron, we're probably Luca, on the other side. Yeah, of Luca and I moved away yeah. while yeah. all this was yeah, going you guys on. Moved with, away. Yeah. I, I tell looking. Father as he goes looking for Luca. Go tell him to look at the fire on the second floor. You look at yeah. the foundation and the structure around it and all that stuff first and the door. So the foundation looks relatively uh, intact. Um, it doesn't look like, uh, because of the way that it's kind of up on this hill, the the water and stuff has drained away whenever it rained and stuff like that. So it hasn't really held a lot of moisture and weathering that would uh, wear it down. And the surrounding hills are kind of mostly taller than this. So it's been you know, prevented from really wearing from erosion or wind damage and stuff. It's a, it's a, it's a relatively protected Speaking area. of rabbit holes, eh? They doesn't any around the foundation on this one. Yeah, I'd be looking it at... It's pretty rocky. Wandering around for scene, for any sort of signs of, of, you know, kind of vandalism, people coming and going, animals coming and going, warrens and things like that that might present a danger to us as we walk around. Um, but also kind of looking at the stonework and that sort of thing uh the stonework is sticks out relatively uh prominently um you've seen a lot of old churches and buildings and stuff like that this looks very well put together uh the masonry (laughs) itself um and and getting all of this up here because like the stones really wouldn't have been you know right here you know what I mean? With the, with the maybe pushed by the river, uh, maybe even smoothed out by the river, and so forth, and used as a as a uh, a facade kind of on the outside. I think there's a but, moment uh, where when Luca and I are together, um, I literally repeat something that he probably would have heard Jong say to me about the stonework. <laughs> you see the stones, and I just da, blah 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 about how they're made and how they're crafted. Yeah. Um when I catch up with you guys, you're going to hear all that again. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> and um, they used to I'm going to comment on this one. I'm going to comment on, on the, uh, the fascinating way that you can, you can track the evolution of the structures um, and how the, the wall is the, the retaining wall is the oldest uh, part of this, and you can see that it is a combination of mostly found rocks, uh, but you can see some of the hand tool tooling marks as they've cut them to fit and 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 et cetera. And you can see the composition of the mortar. It's very natural um, and composed of you know local materials. And I point some of that out and and explain why it was so resilient to the weather and oh. and um and then you know this area of the building was probably next and you see how it's slightly more refined and and more meticulously made and you know and then I you know point out some areas of patchwork and um you know the handmade bricks and the where it's you know brushed to make it to make it flat and square and and um but uh, and then talk about some of the design and the contrast and texture and color. So I'm, I'm doing all the things that you guys just talked about. And, and as, you, as you're kind of midway, it'd be like, and Zhong, what do you make of this? And I point up to the sort of 
with the fire like what what can you tell us byron about as we're kind of circling the building what how does it look like it started can we assess this a little further does it look normal like oh yeah there was a lightning strike and whatever and boohoo or or what don't see any evidence of like a lightning strike um you know i mean there is metal that you can see that was in the top of the tower the bell is the the structure that held the bell is still there uh just not the bell itself you can tell that even from the ground mm -hmm. um as the window the kind of the openings are large enough uh, and it's a bright sunny day so you can see into that relatively easily um one thing you think is weird is that the fire if there was a fire in a building like a lot of it would come out the top and there doesn't seem to be any fire damage or soot marks or anything on anything below the tower so like you would Is expect it... around the other windows and I, stuff I have like to that, say Jean that's... calls that out right because because he's sort of the the mason and he, he right I think you're kind of looking at that and like we're we're just letting well, you talk I, and... I was going to ask whether um this looks like it, this doesn't look like a, a structure fire this looks like a, a local fire is there evidence of like did somebody build a bonfire here on this floor of the structure or are we sure that it's even smoke you can get algae and lichen to grow on the side eh? i so think we know hard, i think we know so when we outside. see it lucas it's hard to tell <laughs> from the outside but you do find a small uh door that uh, that leads uh it's just a, a small white door it's maybe about like you know two foot wide and it's more of a, a an access door that leads to like a small wooden staircase that leads up to the bell tower is it serviceable is it a functional wooden staircase or yeah i mean it looks old but it's it looks relatively structurally sound did you say a any... wooden staircase yeah it's a wooden staircase it's in this like little access door kind of hallway that goes up to is it thing. Sorry. is there any debris associated with the soots and, and fire evidence um, you don't see any in the in the stairway, uh, like anything fell down from up above or anything like that. And you can see there's an opening, so it's not like there's an access door or something that's up there that opens into the bell tower. It just is open to the. Uh, is the, the is this door. area subject to the elements, or is it too protected? Um, it's relatively protected though, because of the situation of the building uh, where it lies in like the the valley, but yet still on this ridge. The other surrounding uh, hills around it are high enough to keep like a lot of um, snow and stuff like that. It's kind of protected. I'm asking because I'm I'm trying to determine how long ago not like is the fire is this damage fairly recent or is it pretty old has it been weathered away at all yeah yeah sure uh, give me a um Ooh. we're gonna go with an intelligence check well i have i, I have nature too or you could do that too natural I'll, world. I'll let you do that too natural which world. one's higher oh. uh, into sure. higher yeah. just doing a... your choice i'll let you roll your Trevor. okay success yeah, 43. 43 success um, so, <laughs> yeah, so you, one thing that you realize as you step into this little area is the smell of the soot and like fire, because you guys, you've been in a lot of buildings as you guys have investigated them as your jobs. The soot and the smell of the fire smells more recent. Okay. I comment about that. Um, structurally, has the fire damaged any damage the stairwell or or anything does it seem not the stairwell no you don't see any evidence of it uh, disturbing the stairwell itself do you make your way up to the tower itself absolutely okay all right I, I think it looks like we're all ready to head in I feel like we should go together I also by the way have my clipboard with me um taking notes yeah in a professional manner I think it's yep. I think it's worth us going in. And I would assume you all have like cameras 
so you would be able to mm-hmm. yeah, photograph we, evidence and stuff like that. Maybe Go, not as good as the GoPro. Fias, the Fias probably has you, a, you know, you uh, know that uh, our journalist yeah. has got all the cameras covered and probably a drone following her around. Or I some know shit. we have a drone, right? <laughs> you, could, awesome. you could yeah, actually have a drone. Do. You could oh, actually yeah. have a drone here. I you mean, put if Go I'm on. a, you know, uh, if I, if I do contracting, I've probably brought a drone. Yeah, yeah, very easily. Yeah, do you put the drone up to like get an oversight of things and maybe do an, an outside the tower investigation, like from a roof level, looking mm-hmm. at the 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 damage maybe of like hail or whatever in the roof or uh, places where there could be an issue. Sure. Sure. Okay. So yeah, you put the drone up and are looking around and of course physically going up into the tower. Who who all is going into the the tower and the uh, area? I know Jung and uh, Father. I'd like to. Um, no, yeah, and, think, and I'm first. Just and and if anybody right. wonders. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, well, let's make sure that Luca and, and Jung both have said this is stable. This looks old. Um, these can be deceiving. We should obey safety first, as the manual says. I'm, I'm I'm happy. I mean, I'm the biggest one here, so I'm. I'm You're I'm just happy gonna to, stomp your way up the stairs. See I'm they... happy to test the the safety, you know, and I'll I'll make my way very safely up the stairs, slowly, carefully, you know, checking the, you know, there's probably no handrail per se, but I'm, you know, just checking as I go up and the stability of the walls and and everything, and carefully shifting my weight and you know actually, um, is the stairwell in sections? Is it? like a spiral what is uh it's kind of like a zigzag it kind of goes up and then there's like a small landing and then it goes back up. Oh, okay nice. so okay. W- when i get to the first landing if everything seems stru- structurally sound i i indicate to the folks at the bottom it, it's safe to do this section but i'm gonna ask them to yeah, wait yeah. until i've traversed each section before coming up and um you know well, and all only... the time of course i'm looking for let us spread it out so that we do not concentrate weight on any one section one at a time uh like a chain we go so there's no one weight on uh, bearing on a, a platform so it takes a while but we we keep the the weight off the staircase yeah. but also off the I landing mean, so there's not five of us clustered there waiting there's the... already quite a few of us do we all need to go up oh well i i have to help determine its religious significance so i don't think all of us need to go up though i but believe we, i we believe take turns. <laughs> i believe the paper said it is a church I, I smile. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, but we have. I, I, part part of the reason I'm here is to help determine that. Father, would you like to go inspect the ass with me? Huh? Do the what? The ass. <laughs> he wants you to look at his ass. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, it's I dangerous in here. Huh? I don't. <laughs> I, I'm not I mean, that. Bo- I'm not that small. That's the stereotype. I, I suppose once you've d- determined that it's safe to go up there. Like, like Lucas. <laughs> the, 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 no, 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 no. I'm talking about where the, where the where they do communion, eh? That's that's brilliant, Lucas. On that the ground floor, place. where we yes. don't have to go up to the place where it might be burned out, huh? Yes, me, uh, Lucas, and I will start there, and then we will meet you all uh, once you uh, ascertain that it's safe. Perfect. Go to. What about, what about Zionda? Where's Zionda going? Actually, Zionda is listening, and she's going to watch the tower over there. It's just a wave to them when they get up there. <laughs> okay. Nice. Do you uh, hear yeah, them, Sophia? Probably... I think I hear them. They're, they're, I, I hear, they're dum, arguing dum, about dum, something. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> My telephoto nice. lens. And you're probably so still, can... you're probably still talking to uh, Giuseppe and Marco mm-hmm. out there too. They're, they're kind of following you around as you're walking around the, the, the outside grounds. You can see Jan's, uh, uh, drone, kind of flying around. Oh, up above that. Oh, really? We hear the drone? Sophia. It's not, oh, the boys have the drone out. Oh, nice. See, they're, they're, they're fine. They're fine. What is the, uh, uh, what is the, uh, uh, reception up here? Oh, yeah. Good point. We haven't played a game with Byron that I've had to care about reception. So, yeah. How many bars do I have on my, uh, <laughs> All right. Hey, link, uh, link have... in the description below for the phone. Why are you app. thinking of calling for help already? Yes. No, no, I'm just like thinking about, you know, are we, how are we connecting to the drone? How are we connecting to each other? All of these things. Can I text you? Um, you know, well, can I connecting to the things? drone with the remote that I have in my hand? Okay. Yeah, okay. it's pretty close. Short wave. Okay. Short, short, uh, short thing. Uh, and yeah. if I'm wrong about that, please update me in the chat because I'm no. not no, familiar right. with drones. Right. Not that familiar with drones. 
uh, how far they can go. I've got a little one. Um, yeah. And so, um, so yeah, you're, you're flying that around and kind of looking as you guys make your way to the tops of the stairs. Uh, and uh, you can definitely see that um, there's not a lot of flame damage inside the bell tower. Hmm. But there is on like the outside of the windows. Like you, you can kind of feel with your hand, or even you know stick your head out through the openings and kind of look. You can definitely see with the drone on the outside um, that there's the soot and stuff from that. Interesting. Not. Is there any any evidence that I can see that there was uh, like a wooden um, surround on on this part of the building? Uh, nothing that seems like it burnt off. It seems like maybe the wood does look like as if it was maybe replaced at some point in time. Um, but like a while ago. Mm. Like longer, old, longer ago than the fire? Yeah. Huh. Um... So yeah, so that's kind of what you see there. Uh, let's kind of slide over to uh, Luca and uh, Father Bright uh, as they are investigating the uh, the kind of the inside of the the church itself here. Let's see, let's go. Over. When was this last occupied? Um. So the picture I'm about to show you might not be like, exactly representative of it, but like, did they have it, electric in here, even if it's probably not. after the fact? There is not electric in here, like tube and knob stuff, or no. So no, pre there was never, yeah, there was never any electric run up here. Mm. So, so it was abandoned like before, like 19. Yeah, but the inside is very well maintained. Okay, um, you can see. Uh, not a lot of evidence of it being old, no elements or anything that have come in here or anything like that. Uh, but a very small um, sanctuary. This oh, is okay. truly in incredible. <laughs> because, I mean, you would, Im you would imagine that it would have less order to it uh more rotten decay for how old this is but it's actually an incredible condition wouldn't you agree lucas i think so let's see should i is there should i inspect stuff to see if i think that it actually <laughs> looks as old as it's made out to be oh uh, yeah it does so uh, one thing you notice the um the carvings, the statues and stuff that are up on these little pedestals on the walls, uh, and actually the altar itself, it, like fantastic uh, sculpting, like amazing artwork. Uh, somebody spent a, a true master Renaissance uh, era kind of stuff. Renaissance era carved a lot of these. And the fact uh, that they weren't sure. stolen is even weirder. Yeah, they weren't stolen. Yeah. They're, they seem oh. to all be intact. Um, I want to approach the altar and just kind of, you, you know, I I've done this a lot of time, a, a lot of times, and so I imagine that my kind of sense of, of uh, how how would I put this, rightness and wrongness in, in a in a church setting might be a little bit uh, tuned in <laughs> to a degree. How does this make me feel when I approach the altar? A sense of rightness, wrongness, because this is tr truly an incredible place. Uh, so as you uh, as you get closer to the altar, probably within a pew or so of it, you feel kind of overcome with a sense of like hope. Mm -hmm. So you feel a very strong connection. Mm -hmm. So actually, I, I I I start to have like uh like some tears run down my face, and I'm just like I, I turn to 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 Lucas and I just say this place was very prized by a lot of people. I think I think there's a lot of history here that uh, 
the people uh, came here and they received a sense of hope. This is uh, filled with the Holy Spirit, I must say. And I kind of like <laughs> take my sleeve and wipe off the tears. And, and I'm like, I, I'm just like, I know you're not exactly a believer, but. I was raised Catholic. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I see. I thought that you were kind of. Uh, uh, <laughs> like I thought you were French. I thought you were a lapsed Catholic, if you will. Uh, yeah, Christmas and Easter, yeah. Mm. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I, let me uh, compose myself and maybe I'll say a prayer here and we can, I, we can continue to look around as much as you want. So right, he, he I'll go ahead and you. say a prayer. Uh, he he like feels hope. On my knees, the whole, the whole shebang. He yeah. feels hope. I'm slightly uneased that neither the Germans nor the British nor other French people had gutted this place which is historically whatever happened at every single church that was abandoned. That's, that's factual. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. this is something that's not right on this one. It's, this it's stuff very, should not be surprising. here. I mean, two of the doors didn't even have doors. They were just openings. Mm, power of the human spirit. <sighs> Father Brighton and Luca and also Zianda, give me a listen check. So, kind of one at a time so people will be able to see it on stream. L -l 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 Listen. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. There you go. All right. I failed. Yeah, Zeanda's deep in conversation with Giuseppe. And, uh... So you see those fascist caps. Oh, they you want to go next? You want to go next? Sure. You're praying. Oh. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> All you right. Guys, you guys uh, roll like I do. That's awesome. I love it. Right? Dude. I will You've go. You've seen me roll. <laughs> you, you know a good roll's coming when there's lag. There's, when there's a lot of lag, so you know it's coming. Right? All right, Father Brady. Did it go? I, I hear nothing. Uh, I hear good roll. <laughs> Must be a good roll. It's lagging. <laughs> Does your dog bite? Oh, oh yeah. nice, nice. Jason called it. Jason called. It. He said, "Whenever there's lag, that's when a roll is going to come." That's it's when I hold my breath. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, here it comes. All right. So as you are praying, Father, uh, you feel like you hear somebody praying along with you, and it sounds like a a very soft female voice, maybe childlike. And she seems to be almost repeating the words almost along with you, but also after you. Not where she's saying it twice, but she's kind of like she knows the prayer, but she's following along. Oh. Um, I think maintaining my composure, I would finish the prayer to its good completion, although um, my hands would be shaking and I'd be, uh, and maybe start to stumble over some of the words. <laughs> and then I would, uh, and then at the end of it, if she seems like she's beside me, I'd open my eyes and, and, and look, like if she sounds like she's like, I don't know, right behind me, I turn around if she sounds like she's to my left, so on and so forth. So you turn to your right on the right side of the altar and there's a chair there. A chair that's been pulled up next to the altar. The leather seat seems to have indentations. Like someone was standing on it right next to you. Nope. <laughs> So, I, I, I just whispered to myself, "Is there, is there someone here? Are you, is there a child here?" You don't get any response. I, I'll go over and, and touch the the chair where the indentations are. Does it seem 
So the, the leather is soft enough that you can kind of make impressions. And as you rub your hand over the impressions <laughs> in the chair, they actually go away. Mm -hmm. And you just feel, at first it felt like the leather was in good condition, but as you kind of look at it and move your hand back, you feel the cracking of the leather and stuff, and it's it's almost like it ages underneath your hand as you're rubbing it. Mm -hmm. And then it reverts back to kind of what you see now. I I, I, I say, if, if you're here, child, God has a seed for you in heaven. Who are you talking to over there? It, hold, hold on, Lucas. You don't you don't need to stay here. You've you've done you've done your your duty to your. I people. just got here. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. I, I I I look up at you, Lucas, and I'm like, there's there's someone. <laughs> Oh my god, what is that? That, that, scared, that actually scared me. I was like, what was that? <laughs> that was the best that was the best time somebody's ruined by immersion ever. No, I, I, yeah, no, so no dude. I I'm, you're giving me chills and I, I'm freaking the fuck out over here, so I'm sorry. Uh, so no, that was great. Um so I, I, I just I I, I, just, I just say I think I think that there's something true about those legends, Lucas. Mm -hmm. I I think that there there may be and there there may be uh some would say an angel in here. There's been stories in the Bible of angels taking on the forms of of humans in order to deliver a message. Mm -hmm. You hear mm -hmm. Luca, you hear the sound of like a child's laughter like me yeah <laughs> and as you look around as you turn your head back the direction that you hear it you feel like a thump up against the back of your calf <laughs> it's just like a cat it jumps yeah. like that. <laughs> and as you jump like your foot kicks something and it rolls underneath one of the pews no man, he's gonna be a something else from another U-boat. He'll get down and look to see what he kicked. It's like a small leather ball, about maybe about the size of a softball, it's hand stitched together. Its leather is old, worn. I hope it's not wet. <laughs> so is it salty balls? I don't want to be picking up <laughs> any soggy balls. balls in the church, huh? Uh, no, no soggy I'll balls. I'll pick it uh, up. But as you pick it up, uh, and you kind of like investigate it with both of your hands, as you move it from one of your hands to the other one, you realize that your fingertips are covered with soot. But <laughs> the ball itself doesn't seem to be covered with too much dirt. I think I anything. forgot to ash, huh? <laughs> but the whole ball just yeah it's like weird it's like as you touch it when you hand it in your other hand it's like on your fingertips there's like ash or soot I can't think of any verses in the bible that says something like this huh I, I'm not I'll... sure if I have a, if I have an explanation I toss it to the to the father there. No, but I'm trying to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you catch it. And I, I, I see the soot on it. It's like, perhaps, perhaps she she wants us to, to understand something. Mm -hmm. Who but is she? I, it's, it's a matter of Catholic doctrine. You may be aware of this, Lucas, or you may not, depending upon how long it, 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 so, in, are you in, an exorcist? No, well, in Catholic doctrine, human souls go to heaven, hell, or purgatory. They, I, thought they that not, the, I thought that the Pope got rid of that already. No, not not precisely. It's a little bit more complicated than that. However, it, it, the, what that leaves is the belief that when we encounter 
spirits, if you will, then those spirits are either of God or of, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so <laughs> what I get as a sense of hopefulness from this, so I am inclined to believe that this spirit may be some sort of angel trying to speak to us trying to send a message to correct some historical oversight, some something that needs to be known by as many people as possible. Perhaps, this is just conjecture on my part. I might be wrong. But I think this spirit has a story for us. So but remember that the black and soot and smoke, that's not an angel thing. Mm -hmm mysterious face <laughs> I mean, i'm just saying up. that usually when it comes with the black suit to the oil and the blood it's that is not the that's not the you know wheels with eyes and thousands wings if you don't believe me lucas it, i'm not saying i don't believe you i'm just saying that dude, don't you know hope you might be getting the hope from the whatever this thing throwing balls around well, hope that they can tear you apart and eat your insides huh uh, come to the altar and, and pray with me, and I think you might have a, a bit of a revelation. After all, you were the one who found the cap. This may involve you in some way. <laughs> you, not, it, it, Nazi hats and the balls. I am in uh, 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 Christmas. I, huh? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't discount it. You may, you, Lucas. You may have been guided <laughs> in some way, and, and the reason that why it's you and me here is because I am to a degree to help you and i didn't want to go up the stairs behind the rhino well <laughs> like i said maybe perhaps your instincts told you here come come to the uh come, come to the front and pray with me uh, I'll, I'll walk up there all right hold on <laughs> puts a cigarette out <laughs> where we are in the bell tower are are we uh, able to hear any of what's going on? Not really. Um, you can hear conversations below you, but it's very difficult to make out. Uh, the plaster and the stuff is actually good enough that it does block most of the sound uh, from going through into the, the bell tower itself. Um, now I'm so, hearing rattling chains. Yeah, this is so like a Dickinson movie. We'll kind of move back over to the other characters here in the bell tower. And as uh, young as you're kind of flying the drone around and looking and so forth at the outskirts, um, the wind blows the drone and you, you kind of begin to lose control of it a little bit. And as it straightens itself out and you ride it, give me a spot hidden check as you're looking Ooh. at your phone as you're looking at the video feed of the drone. Who's doing slot now? Um, give me a, for Jung to give me a spot hidden check. Oh, spot hidden, sorry. Spot hidden. No, you're fine. I was too busy being stupid. You're <laughs> oh no! Okay. Can I uh, burn some luck on sure. that? Are we allowed to do that? Sure can. What? I'm gonna burn some luck. Burn, burn it. You, you won't need it later. With, uh, nope. For those of you not familiar with Call of Cthulhu, if anybody's watching, uh, you can occasionally spend luck points uh, to uh, basically turn a success into uh, or a failure into a success. So, uh, Jung would be spending basically, uh, are you going to push or just spend the six points a lot? I'm just going to spend it. How do I, uh, I'm sorry if this is stupid, but how do I actually change that? Take on your here? luck away. I uh, go into edit oh, I don't mode. Mean, I didn't mean to keep doing that. No, it's fine. Go to, go to edit mode and you can change your luck. It looks like. Yeah. I you am can in just edit points. mode. Yeah. Or, I, I, no. I did it. I did it. Oh, you did don't it. Don't worry okay. about it. I'll do it. You changed it. Tyler's, okay. Tyler's changing I'm, our character sheets around. I'm sorry for the around. spam stream. No, you're okay. You're good. You're good. Hey, Tyler, five dollars for a few more points of luck, please. <laughs> I, got I was just you. thinking about a spam stream. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So okay. yeah. So uh, 
as you were writing the drone, it was kind of pointed when you lost uh, control of it, it was kind of pointed down the east side of the church, down over the ridge, off across the little river there in the swampy area. You swear that you saw like the top of a building, almost like a church steeple or something down on the other side. Would the size and shape be consistent with something that used to be attached to this building? Maybe not something that was attached to the building, but maybe an, an outbuilding. Hmm. I'm going to... Uh, occasionally very old churches like this. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, let's see here. Lach Lachka can give me a history check. Happy to do it. Or, uh... Hey, hey Dad, yeah. can, you, can you mess with your mic? You're getting some feedback. You're getting like a buzzing. It's like At a whistle. Every time you talk or something. Oh. I thought there was a chain rattling. Hmm. He just needs some dental work. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not really sure why. Does, does that seem any better? It needs some more denture, denture right or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious on this. We'll, we'll why am I not talk. seeing it under history? So does that seem any better with me talking a little louder? No. Mm. It's in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why don't I see? I don't know. Can you just do you unplug your mic real quick and plug it back in? History is in the left hand column, about five from the bottom. Not easily. Yeah, oh, okay. It'll kill my yeah, camera. under age. Go figure. My camera. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Shut up, me, Dan. Stop me. it. Ooh, nice. Yes. Whoa, hot success. I have achieved a hard success, am. which means I strike like Cobra. Here it comes. What do I learn? Byron's fucking with uh, his mic. Oh, I, I, oh you're good. No. I, 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 uh, yeah, so you know that old churches like this um, would sometimes have like a chapel, a separate um, area for prayers and stuff like that. Yeah, so I'm not flying the drone. So as I think about this, like I'm kind of back, but they're whoever's like, I guess it was um, Zhang, right? So you're saying something out loud and I kind of look over your shoulder and Yes, of course. It's, it's, ooh, is it, 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 can we see that from here? Or is it only that level of aerial view? That, so that... as you, uh, it's it's hard to see it like from the level that you're on because mm -hmm. the drone was up higher. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, looking yeah. Over yeah, for sure. Um, do you want to like climb on the balcony? Uh, the little, you know, you saw the openings on the church on the bell tower. Yeah, because I mean, we're up could... there, right? Yeah, you're up there. Yeah. yeah. Um, is it, it safe? I would check out. I'm gonna. I don't have a whole lot of structural engineering, but I could figure out like pushing on it, whatever. Is mm -hmm. it safe to step out that far? Uh, Jiang would be able to look at it and tell you. You know. I would yeah, ask you. And I also, I also, in addition to the drone, I also have a a, a pair of. I mean, they're not. The binoculars are more like field goggles because I'm not anticipating, you know, looking hundreds of yards. I'm not bird watching here, but but I have a some sort of device you know um like i said field glasses probably so that i can you know get a closer look at at you know at the roof line from the ground and so forth yeah like yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. i'm gonna try and um figure out you know looking at looking at the at the monitor here i'm gonna try and figure out where that structure is geographically and and i'm gonna try and see if i can scope it out through the field glasses there Okay. Um, so again, with the field glasses, it'd be difficult to see, but you guys could climb up on that little ledge. Yeah, yeah, you I'll do You could definitely that. Make, uh, make out with the field glasses, and you can even fly the drone closer to be able to, to see, um, you know, what's out there. And you could definitely see back in the trees, there's another building down there. Maybe the right answer is that we go down and we go look, get the so others. I wave it at Lashka and... And young, but hey guys! Oh how's yeah, it you going? see Zianda. You see Zianda talking to Giuseppe, <laughs> and was this in the and, survey, by the way? So we we would have had a site survey, I'm sure, and all yeah. these. Was this uh, building? That building was not. It was not in the survey. I, I would I would. Do you recall? That's exciting. This yes, it is. We should go down. Tell the others because we have no idea that they're going through any kind of drama, right? We're just excited yeah. that we've d yeah. discovered something. So yeah, like let's go. Let come. Let us go. Is the the base of the bell tower is it connected to the inside of the church here? It isn't it? Isn't um, it, this is just like an access door that goes down, but it's right next to the entrance to the inside of the the uh, the sanctuary that you see in the picture 
on the on this i don't know that i would consider interrupting their work just to go explore this Wait, you did see Zianda like waving at you guys well, perhaps <laughs> perhaps they are right but yeah. do we should at least let them know let us text the group <laughs> do we have, do we have like walkie talkies or anything on something us? like that yeah um you probably have cell phones um I mean, you, yeah, you might have, have walkie talkies <laughs> you guys want to have walkie talkies oh god have <gasps> we have next tells right yeah just send like a group <laughs> text or something to say <laughs> yeah. head, headed down to the river um there was a, a building omitted from the survey lol Looks uh, to be an outbuilding over, you know, and I'm, you know, going to yeah. give the geographical Eggplant. information. And we, we South, to... Southwest, about a half a click, um, heading down with Lashka to, to inspect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, oh, Zionda is Giuseppe and, uh, you know, uh, Giuseppe and Marco, as you guys are walking around the outskirts of the thing, you've kind of made your way back to the rest of the group um, and kind of reunited with them and looking at what they're they're talking about he, he was a very long story told you a lot about like he 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 went off on tangents uh in regards to you know his family history and stuff like that but nothing that really gave you too much insight into this particular area or the church itself but you definitely got him talking mm -hmm. excellent very well good good do we yeah. we see the instant message about the outbuilding yeah, I mean, and you guys are you kind of made your way up to where everybody is. Hey, Zofia, let's let's ask these guys. Giuseppe, you see this? Where's this outbuilding? I do not know what you speak of. Oh, uh, is there some sort of like insight or whatnot? Wait, psychology. Can I just do psychology check? To yeah, see to see if he's bullshitting you. Like if yep. he knows something about it. Then, yeah. Success. Uh, no, he seems to be relatively. He seems to be very straightforward. Like, All right. Not, yeah. not, uh, Ooh, so that's exciting. Like I said, their their locals is in there from France, and they're kind of in the general area, but they're not really mm -hmm. like they live here and they know everything about the site or anything. No, no, let's yeah, yeah. the boys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do this. Um, did you get a response from the guys inside? We saw them go in. Yeah. So, uh, Father Brighton and uh, Lucas, you get the text message from the group that says that they're going to go down over there with some outbuilding. Um. Oh, they, uh, uh, did, did Lucas have any kind of experience during our little prayer session? He did not. I I say, well, well, Lucas, I mean, uh, did you feel it? That sense of hope? And I, I didn't hear the little girl saying the prayer with me this time or with us this time. But... <laughs> It's like I, 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 I just, I just nod, and it's like, well, perhaps we can find more when we meet up with everyone else. Uh, are, are you ready, or do you? I, is that not going to lie? Uh, it's slightly uncomfortable with things not around solid. It's well, I mean, there's so much about the world beyond that we don't understand in this lifetime. However, we do have. Uh, we do have a, a book to help guide us. I point at my satchel. Obviously, <laughs> the Bible. Don't like, worry. like you're kind of stupid, <laughs> but but not intending to, to do it that way. <laughs> and that's when another cigarette comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so, uh, it's not Easter. <laughs> I, I, we'll go go ahead and rejoin the rest of the group. Okay. Yes. Uh, you guys make your way down the uh, the hillside. Uh, it's kind of slick. Uh, there's been some rain over the last week or so. Uh, the ground here is drained away relatively good, but, you know, it's kind of, it could get muddy, you know, as multiple of you start going down. Um, but it, there's no, like, path that leads down to the river. Is there signal up here? As we're walking down. So as you start getting lower, like, you lose the sick. Okay. I'm, I'm taking my time, and I'm looking up uh, leather smoky balls. <laughs> I, I, I do put the, the leather smoky ball in my satchel for safekeeping. 
Okay. Damn it, I should have put down the freaking safety. No, what you should have done is switch to Verizon, as I suggested that we all should do, but we have not. And now we have no signal. We are stuck out here <laughs> down by the river. We have no... We can't even take a selfie. This Verizon You don't need France. internet I mean, connection you can to take, take a, a selfie, Lashka. Well, but you cannot do anything with a selfie if you cannot put it on social media. What good is a picture if you cannot show everyone right now? I I live in the moment. Come on, let's. I did get one of those. my heart, Mr. Man. It's frustrating. Stop it. Stop it. Do you, um, you guys? Do you, well, are you like, getting video camera. as we're getting up here? Is there any hmm. chance that we would pick up on their demeanor? Like, can I make a psychology roll to to pick up on the fact that maybe they just didn't have the most normal moment in that church? Oh, I'm you about to make a psychology them. roll. Oh, you got to tell them anyway. Oh, yeah, them? like, yeah, like I, I look Let's very see. like somber. I miss it anyway. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, this is strange. <laughs> Uh, I'm like everybody. I I think I, I know that some of you are not going to believe this, but I hope that you will listen to me. And I say I do say, Zionda, I and uh, Zofia, I I do apologize. I believe that you were actually on the right track. Uh, when I when I went into <laughs> the, the pulpit, I could feel a sense of hopefulness i oh it is it's like the the inside was immaculate well preserved and when i i not, sat down not to say looted prayer, yeah when i sat down That's to say astounding. a prayer i could hear the voice of a young lady only to my right repeating the prayer with me it was a young lady or a young Sophia, girl right I think a young, yeah, it's hard to say. Okay. Okay. She couldn't have been older than maybe 13, 14, maybe. Okay. She could have been as young as, as seven or eight. Um, and I believe she was standing on the chair next to me, uh, repeating the prayer. And I was overcome by the Holy Spirit during this, enti this entire experience. And immediately after, as I talked about this with Lucas, he found this. And I'll I'll reach into my my satchel and pull out the ball. Oh, As you're reaching in your satchel, right I think, yeah. Father Jim, you, you must understand these structures can um, echo. You are hearing an echo of your own whispers. There, there are no ghosts. Oh no, no it's not. Byron, come sorry, can I interrupt for a second? Byron, yeah. does in our experience with Father Jim, does he um, tend towards fanciful? Mm. Normally, is this is this like, and would would this be like just oh another spiritual experience, <laughs> or yeah. is he generally pretty? Oh, he's generally he's generally pretty on track. Yeah, pretty he's grounded. Not, he has, he, yeah, he's very grounded. He definitely speaks a lot of like a connection, a, a spiritual connection to the older buildings and churches and sure, historical but does he, sites that were. Does he often hallucinate children? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. He he doesn't speak about children or anything. Okay, so this is so this is a this is not like something that we would just yeah. like brush off and make fun of. Then I mean, I at least Sean wouldn't. Um... Yeah, and I think where I'm coming from is more my appreciation for natural things and how they can seem like the supernatural, right? So it's I, yeah, but Lucas, you you saw. You see, you see this this leather ball, a child's toy. Lucas found it right after I had that experience, and Lucas, you said that you could hear a little girl laughing too, at one point. I think all eyes Maybe. turn to Lucas to like bring this home, right? Like all of us are. So, Sophia, give me a power. Mm. I said maybe because I don't know. I did like you said, churches they make these buildings with arches that reverberate sound, huh? Success. So you all hear Sophia start kinda humming a tune with very silently, almost under her breath. Uh it, it's almost like a a hymn or a lullaby. But it's in German. Ooh. And I mean, if Sophia were to hum a lullaby, it would be in German. Right. Um, but Sophia, with your power roll, you actually realize that you find yourself humming it. 
What what do I know it? All right. Yeah, can do we I recognize this song? People that, people that speak German, do they do they understand it? You understand the words, and it oh. it, it, uh, it talks about. Uh, it's only for a brief moment. You get a small snippet of it before everybody realizes, and you all kind of start paying attention to it. Um, and, and then she kind of stops. What's it about? Uh, it's about like, you notice something about climbing and a cat and like hope. Maybe that's the little girl's name, huh? I don't know where that came from. I don't know that song. Uh, you speak the Deutsch, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I believe that that well, it, it, like I like I was telling Lucas in Catholic doctrine, the human spirit does not remain on Earth, which means that a spirit is either a representative of Satan or a representative of God. I choose to believe that this is likely a representative of God <laughs> reaching out to us to tell to tell a story to to unveil something. Father, we have talked about this many times. There are cycles. There is uh, samsara. It is the cycle of death and rebirth. You believe in um, homes in the clouds, and we believe in returning, but they are just beliefs. And we are not here to sing. We are here to preserve this beautiful church. What are we, we doing? What has gone on with you? Have you had the drugs? <laughs> of, course, of course not. But we actually have proof. We've had experiences that even I discounted initially that ha have solidified into actual evidence. The Subjective experiences are not proof. I look I look back to Luca, who seems nervous. Or Luca, what, what do you do? Because this is like... The atheist is the the pretend the pretend uh, Easter and, and Christmas is is the the answer here, right? Like what? Dude, yeah, super uncomfortable with all of this metaphysics talk stuff. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I heard the, the the laughing, yeah, and then and then the ball hit me. I didn't just find it on the ground. Is that it happened? occurred to you that we could have been followed? The same people that put the hat in our, our van. They followed us here, and now they are throwing balls at you and touching you with and balls. And they're putting songs in my mouth? I don't think so. I, I, no I don't know no the comment song on I that just one, sang. Huh? But you sang it very well. It sounded pretty good uh, for Sounds, you. Yeah. It almost <laughs> as if I'd learned it from birth, right? It's like somebody put something in my mouth. I, I mean, <laughs> do you know how rare it is? I mean, I've, I've cataloged stories of stigmata and historical facts always hoping to have a miracle happen to me my entire life be careful it's with like, that huh? i'm the 16. more you wish for something the more you try to see it behind every corner but everybody i need you to understand i'm 65 years old my my parish my parish is shrinking and they that happens to everybody it's okay the, dio the diocese <laughs> The diocese Skip wants to me a lot to, of guys. The diocese wants me, the diocese wants me to retire, and and get a younger pastor in place. Hmm. So this for me, it may be a sign that maybe I'm not as washed up and done as I thought I was. It's true. Maybe the poem is about you. I mean, a kitten, a climber, and and this little climber. Don't you fret, inch by inch, you'll get there yet. Maybe you are the climber, Father. Hold on tight with paws so neat, just like Kitty on your feet. I, I imagine it has to do with the message that the angel wants us to receive. Less to do with me. I think that this experience, though, is a gift for all of us. Well, what, 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 we, we are here to do a job. I would just like to bring I you back to, to standard operating procedure uh, involving... Uh, <laughs> We need to finish the survey. There's a property down I, here. I, I agree with Lashka. I look forward to philosophizing this experience with you all later over some really good uh, beverages. Um, yeah, but right now that. we need to, you know, watch where we're putting our feet and um, and keep our minds on the job. 
Well, we can do both. I think father's experience is an authentic one and a spiritual one. Something should be prized. I mean, so I agree. Let's, the poem, let's talk about that later. We need to we need to I, be grounded right now. Lucas has found a ball and, and a cap. I, I think this is fascinating. But OK, let's go look at this place. Let us stay well, together. Know. Let us stay together I, and I focus. Think more, uh, I and think focus. the creepiest thing so far there is that we got a map with the entire premise, but this building not on it. Eh? Mm hmm. So let exactly. us go and investigate that. This is something real that we yeah. can touch, That's and we will watch. Thing. We will watch each other's, uh, and, and Zofia will aim her camera at the father oh. in case he hallucinates again. We will know that he has not done the drugs. Sorry, father. Or you could we catch me? Uh, maybe somebody hit me in the back with a wet fish next time, huh? And then touched <laughs> you with, with oh. balls. Lucas, be careful what you manifest, unless you want a stinky fish. I was not thinking about balls in the church, huh? Oh, that's, we understand. It's okay. You don't have to talk about your thoughts about balls. It's all right. I hate you can to think about whatever you me. like. Just, <laughs> just, everybody, I, I would just beg of you to keep your minds open to this experience. You, we, it's like we may be in the midst of something that people have prayed and wished for for many generations, their li lives <laughs> past, hoping for to experience an actual communion with an agent of God. Don't think many people have been in that building in the last 150 years. Mm -hmm. Amen, Father. So so I, I just encourage you all, believer, non-believer, to just open yourselves up to the possibility, that's all. Byron, um... Father, you know I respect your perspective your beliefs but now is not the time byron day, time of day yeah. check-in game uh it's late late afternoon it's, probably it, it's getting dark late, late right afternoon. Yeah, it's starting to, it, the, the, the sun is starting to to set for all sure. right let's get back to you the hotel and not check out the creepy building oh, i just want to point out bridge is trying to kill us everyone um oh yeah is that what she's trying to do? She is Always trying to kill and us. forever. I love you. <laughs> Where's the <laughs> message? Thank you. Part of me. All right. So this is a good a good uh, moment. We're a good two hours in. Let's take a little bio break for a second. Just maybe a couple quick minutes. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna have oh, sure. Myth Brigade uh, branded diapers made for us, so we don't have to take yeah. breaks ever again. Right. <laughs> oh my god, it, it, Jason, that that hand thing. Was well, fucking hilarious. He right. killed me. So, like, where, 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 let me get a closer look at that. Let me tell you a story of this hand. So, so um, my daughter <laughs> went spelunking into a, a ruined store in this shitty town, uh, Cedar Key. But she came back with this thing. It's a man. It's a mannequin like, hand. Like a monkey paw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and so it, that's, that's totally not cursed. It, it, orig right. it originally had its pinky, and yeah. uh, and then you got hit by a car and it disappeared. Where, where is it? Back. I so <laughs> where's the pinky, Jason? I can't talk about that. So she took it and she threw it in the back of my truck. I used to have a pickup truck, and that's where it sat for a couple years, and um, I just left it there because it's funny. I got pulled over once, and this cop's like, "Hey, I'm just going to give you a warning or whatever. You're going a little bit fast, or whatever." He goes. Let me ask you a question. You tell me about that hand. <laughs> and I was just like, what do you mean? He's like, there's a hand in the back of your truck. And I, and I, I tried to keep a straight face. But like, yeah, it's a mannequin hand. He goes, why do you have a mannequin hand in the back of your truck? I'm like, you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> You have a mannequin hand in the back of your truck? Anyway, we went back and forth. And he finally, he's like, hey, if you don't want me to write your ticket, you should stop right now. And then the other thing that happened was I got this toll receipt. And I was like, you know how they send you a picture of your vehicle from above when you blow through and you don't have your, because I had changed windshields or whatever. Anyway, so I could tell it was me because this was sitting in the back of the truck. You could see it in the picture. just like, me. so. You knew it was a mannequin. Yeah, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. That says a lot about my life, I guess. Huh? You I mean, just had it in your truck yeah. for years? Well, now it's in here where it belongs, where I can... Okay, How long thing. have you had this thing? Um, about six years. Yeah. And nothing that oh, bad yeah. has happened to me in that time, other than being hit by a car on Saturday. <laughs> was that when the first monkey paw incident happened? I know. I well, you you didn't have the hand on you at the time, did you? See? Oh, big puppers. No, I did not. Actually, you're right. I should put it back in my vehicle. 
Bridget, we're going to see you at Chaosium Con. You know this. Six years I had that in my vehicle. You should bring it to Chaosium Con. I should. Will you guys all po <laughs> will you guys all pose with it? We, we take pictures. We, absolutely, we nice. can take pictures with the ham. All right. So while we have a second, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, this is uh, an original scenario by Sinister Scenes, which is Byron and Tyler. It's a play test of their first official, hopefully one of very many scenarios that they're going to publish on the Miskatonic Repository, which is an incredible community run by somebody we know and who is just amazing. And, uh, you know, you can post stuff there as well if you just go and, and you can follow some links that somebody's going to put in the chat in a second. Um, go to Drive Through RPG, check out the, uh, the Miskatonic repository. You will find so much creator content there. It's awesome. And um, Chaosium is one of the few companies who actually will uh, back creators of our level, right? People that don't necessarily have Matt Mercer kind of dollars or lighting or hair. Because if I, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I hear the hair's not necessarily. She is crazy. I heard sometimes she has a problem with she's badges. A bit, she's a bit whack. Oh, and there you go, guys. Oh, anyway, there, there it is. is. Don't hold that against uh, me. I love that we're making. I love. I love that we're making her actually work right now. I know she's, she's working. She's trying to like be here and be supportive. We're like, hey, give us this link and Don't give us work. this. Yeah, no, seriously down. though. Come on. Yeah. So, um, there, there are a lot of companies out there that support creators, but support from Chaosium actually is pretty, it's a next level thing. You get writer support and critiquing, you get artists, you have this entire, oh my God, this entire catalog of, of, of rich history and, and material that you can draw from. And they just support you in it. A lot of people yeah, draw the line, right? If you try to dig into their settings or whatever else. Um, it's, it's a hard, it's a hard road. So hats off to you guys. There is a, there is a massive community too, for the Miskatonic repository of other creators. Uh, they have just spent countless hours, uh, supporting each other and doing so. I know, you know, just even posting about the play test, uh, you know, there is at least 10 to 20 different people that kind of reached out to me directly and gave me encouragement for today and, and stuff like that. It's, it does not go unnoticed. Thank you guys. Heinrich. For, uh, for for, I mean, seriously, yeah. like he, we yeah, used Heinrich to, yeah. and Mike Diamond, shout out to you guys and, uh, and others uh, that even just a thumbs up and a like or a share uh, was, uh, and of course, you know, the wonderful, amazing Bridget Jeffries. I know. Where is she? Is she here tonight? Uh, I haven't seen her. Is she? Yeah, <laughs> she's in the chat. Oh, is she? She's on fire. She's so funny. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> is she? <laughs> Let's talk about that. So guys, yeah. listen, a, a, a partner stream, long time kind of like out there, connected at the hip, but not kind of stream Symphony Entertainment. Some of the best fiction you will ever watch live. Um, aside from Myth Brigade, we're, we're okay. We're pretty yeah. good. Keep hold our own. But you got to go yeah. and subscribe to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Symphony has some real good stuff. I've, I've been I've been following the Aliens one they've been doing for a bit. And yeah, I, like it's it's good. I love Aliens, so like I've been that's the one that really caught me, and so that's the one I've been watching for the most part. Which yeah. one? It, 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 it's been doing an Aliens for uh, Aliens uh, yeah. campaign. So yeah, political. Was... So yeah, that's amazing and terrifying all yeah. at the same time. Yeah, but well, that might be a game system that we entertain at our local game shop when no. we take breaks from Blade Runner. We might do Destroy All Worlds. Yes, let's do that. All right, listen. Yeah. But all if, right, let's back to this real big game. Super quick. Uh, if anyone is coming to Chaosium Con, look up that Mexican place because that's where we're going to be at maze. least one night. A maze. There you go. Maze. Uh, so let's all get together. Let's have some beer. If you're not uh, enrolled for that, Hint, hint. Just go do it. I think there are tickets available. Um, go do it. And look for the party table near the bar. You'll find all party of Party table? Yeah, yeah. We will we'll be, be the there. Loud group, the, loud, the loud group giving out pizza at 12 a.m. I, I promise yes, you that hotel. Yes, that, that hotel has like put a concrete wall where that table used oh. to be. <laughs> all, all speaking with bad Spanish accents. 
<laughs> Bridget has requested that we stream Destroyer Worlds. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we'll be looking for something when Vampire's done. So yeah, quite possible. we should honestly stream from the party table Thursday night. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah. I'll bring. I'll bring my. I, I've got. A, I've got a couple things I can bring. Yeah. Turns out we'll be in cosplay. Thursday, yeah, Ooh, on yeah, Thursday, we're yeah, we will be. Okay. I, mean, I, I so just got my, I just got my boots and suspenders in the mail. Nice. So much Wait more now, more. one more piece. Shit. I'm waiting on all the piece. I forgot. I, I, all the piece. I already own suit pants and the, the white button ups. So. We're gonna figure something out, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So you guys okay. make your way down. Meanwhile, the. Uh, <laughs> the embankment i guess to the stream uh and it's uh it's between a stream and a river uh kind of a little of both uh at, at least at the moment it doesn't seem like the water is that high uh and uh you could make out that there is something back in the wooded area away from this uh stream probably a few hundred yards or so into the uh, th into the the wooded areas where you would assume uh, the structure is based off of the um, the drone from what you've seen so far. How do you guys go about uh, how do you guys go about getting over there or um, how uh, how wide is this river? It's, it's maybe about 20 feet or so. Any sort of bridges, logs, anything? Uh, there is an area that looks like uh, it has a little bit of a, like a stone kind of embankment or wall, uh, but it's very low. Mm. And the water kind of cascades over the top of it, uh, but it doesn't look like it's in very good shape. Stone Mason engineer, this is you. Yeah. Yep. And uh, links in the chat for uh, Maze Mexican American and also tabletop events for Cassium. Bob. I apologize. I had a dog related urgency. You're right. I'm eating a pillow. Okay. Repeat the last couple sentences for me. I apologize. Yeah. So uh, basically, there's like a small stone wall that's. Uh, it looks like it's seen better days. It's kind of in the river slash stream, uh, and the water kind of cascades over it. Um, it's about the, the only structural thing other than just wading into the water that you could kind of tell. I examine point, it to see if it's slimy. Um, yeah. So, uh, with, without a roll, even you could, uh, you could do, you could make a, a spot hidden roll. So if you would like. Or a masonry roll. Uh, I'll do a masonry like roll all day, every day. All day, every day. Oh, will you? Oh. Will you, though? But will you with the 81? Oh, dear. So it looks in really good shape. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look slick or dangerous in any way. Um, so much so that you wouldn't have a problem with someone else going first or even yourself. <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I am a safety guy. Um, um, I'm, I'm gonna test. Do we have any? I probably didn't bring anything to traverse a, a water body of water. Um, uh, you guys do have Giuseppe and Marco, so I mean, they're up on the hill still, but um, I mean, remember there was tools and rope and stuff. Yeah, it. it is tough to get dark, yeah. You got a little ways yet, but yeah, um, maybe another hour, hour and a half. Yeah, we're not going to spend long over here. Just get the general idea, and then we'll plan out in more detail what we're going to uh, survey tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to uh, get a you know a broomstick or you know handle or something or a you know a branch, sturdy branch, and I'm going to use that to to help balance as I try and. Do I need to walk across this or climb over it? Walk across. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that in the safest way I can, very carefully, using my walking stick. 
one foot at a time. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. It's gonna uh, go great. ahead and give me a uh, dexterity check. Oh, yeah. It's the only I know how this is going to go. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. Hey. Success. Uh, yeah, you make your way across. Um, don't slide or anything like that. Um, it seems pretty pretty safe as you make your way to the other side. It's like the bank's not like muddy or anything like that. Okay. Um, who's coming next? Uh, I will will go. Um, just prepare to help me, uh, uh Jong, if I uh struggle a little bit. I'm gonna you try said it's to about twenty feet long the wall. Yeah, about twenty feet wide. The the river mm. slash thing. You're gonna have to toss me. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna like try that. to walk. Um, I'll, I'll follow behind the father. But Wait, uh, the, the decks. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna hold out the stick thing. for for you to grab on. I'm hoping that you grab a walking stick for yourself. But yeah, of course. Wow. Um, he does. Damn, oh, wow. what do you cartwheel the whole way across? I, I'm, I'm, I'm filled. He's filled that yeah, Holy filled Spirit. Holy Spirit. He, he walks Holy across Spirit. the water like Jesus. <laughs> he doesn't even touch it. All right. He does it for Jesus. For Jesus. Yeah, for, for Jesus. Oh, I miss that and character. And he dismounts with a triple backflip and a perfect <laughs> nails the landing. Do you oh believe God. now, Lachka? Do you believe? <laughs> so, so I've been I've been sort of staying Even close locked. to the father because I'm waiting for him to pull out that bump of coke or whatever he's on that's making him. <laughs> and so I'm so focused that let's see what happens. Oh, Ooh. you feel it. You you're, feel a little Jesus in your yeah. life. You see, sometimes <laughs> it's just a matter of balance, and I, I sort of twist uh, like I just happen to step on a super stable spot yeah. and, and literally pirouette and look at him. It is not always about the spirit. Shoes. Sometimes it is about the body. It's those white leather shoes you got on. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Do you see? And I step across. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Okay. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Thank you step. indeed for deploying your spirit to help me walk across the rock here on this planet. I appreciate it very much. I pat it. Right. <laughs> so Father Lashka and Jong have made their way across. What is Zionda, Luca? Uh -huh. I'll head next. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, Sophia, why don't we go together? Here. You take my okay. hand. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, get boy, boy, boy. For, yeah, do you get the uh, assist? Do you get the assist for doing this? Probably a disadvantage. <laughs> Probably. Uh, 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 so I, you don't get any advantage to... Oh. Um, you don't I get any advantage to, uh, to do it, but uh, you do... Oh, extreme success. Oh. I've got to help yeah. somehow. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, because of the fact that Zionda got an extreme success both times that she rolled, Ew. Um, <laughs> no less, no less. Yeah, she's like, oh, I got a Take six. A Wait, let me beat that with a one. That's a, I think that's the second critical one that that Zionda has rolled today. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, Sophia, I've got loaded. you. So that'll be enough because you only missed by ten. So I would say that's enough that uh, that Zionda kind of catches you and. Uh, it, it I skin my knee. Back. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, and we got we got one person left, right? Luca, Lucas. Yeah, he's he's looking back at the church like longingly, like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the, the father has said that it, you will be protected by the spirit. You just walk across. You see what just happened? It was like ballet. <laughs> Yeah, Nazi hat, and then uh, then the ball with the smoke getting hit. The uh... be okay. Come on. It, it's like just 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 trust in God, but don't test God because when you test God, bad things. Oh, yeah, that's God, when the bad rolls happen. God. Just clench your teeth around that cigarette and walk across. You got this, Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> yes. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> So as Luca, he's small. He can walk across that br that stone bridge without <laughs> without hitting the stones. Get out. <laughs> give me a, give me a power roll. Me? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. My favorite stat. Pow. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So oh, hard success. So as you're looking across at everyone, I'm very you hard. Kind of see like the maybe the the um kind of shape of the little girl 
as she splashes across the stream, stepping on the rocks. Mm. You find yourself stepping almost where she steps as you make your way across. You almost don't even remember seeing it until you're on the other side. I... Nobody reacts like they saw anything. Look, <laughs> no, I, I don't Thanks say I, I, I don't say a word. Well done, Lucas. You did it. I was so I was watching everybody very carefully as they crossed and you know reaching out my hand and everything. Do I see? Can I do like a? Uh, no, I don't notice or spot hidden or something to see if I um, observe the change in in his demeanor. Yeah, so give me a, I was uh, going to ask for that as well on psych psychology because yeah, we're all staring Jiang, at him. Like Jiang, you can make a kind of a spot hidden check also, uh, kind of to see something in <laughs> retrospect. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, lots of that. Uh, you look fine. You have done well. You're good. Very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, it's Jiang. So you realize as Luca was kind of stepping across, you kind of saw the water splash. Like, just for an instant before Luca put his feet down. Nice. Almost as if, almost as if someone was walking ahead of him. Some really playfully. biblical shit going on here. This is like that poem. The serenity, no, not the serenity. What is that one where there's one set of footprints and you carried me? What, did Jesus carry you across? That, that That's an old, just an old parable from what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> and now he funny. says that. Now he says that. <laughs> and yeah. we have a literal interpretation of that here. Oh, the footprints in the sand, footprints in the water. Oh, but no, you're right. not going to believe yeah, that. I, so. I, well, I mean, Lucas, Lucas, did anyone see anything? Did I, any? What no. Sorry, I was sending to my knee. That's weird. It looked, I, I could oh, swear I it looked like Thanks, the dude. water was moving before he stepped. But it moved in the place where he was about to step. Well, that must be some sort of optical illusion. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that. It's <laughs> going to come around on this. But look at Mr. Science, who's like, oh, I don't think this will be true. And then made fun of us all for that. And now suddenly he's having some feels about this. I don't see the girl or anything, right? It seems clear that this place is has a presence. I mean... If Luca can feel it, I mean, how can anyone deny it? That's true. Luca is probably the biggest right. skeptic out of all of us, from what I could tell. And even even Luca, I can see, I can tell, looking into your eyes, Luca, that you're struggling to deny the things that have happened. It's like perhaps you shouldn't close yourself off to it. Maybe it's time for you to open yourself up. I, of course. Father, I realize that I am not the first on your list, but I have seen nothing. Well, I am feeling nothing. I am hearing nothing. There is nothing. And it comes from a religion that's got lots of God, eh? Mm. Uh, well, um, yes, I suppose... It, 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 does that mean Laksha? It's not uh, that it's not as special because you have so many gods. No, I am not saying this. What I am saying is, we we have okay, we we have worked together many times, and we have been out in the dark and scary places because we are often called. This is just a byproduct of a place with many memories infiltrating your psyche. You're troubled. We should rest and have a drink. I like this one now. Huh? Well, drinking only clouds your mind, so... Actually, we're not too far away from cognac. We can actually have actual cognac, not that yes. shit that So American let us drink. please focus Ooh. on the rest. We are going there. We will investigate. Yes. And then we will, we will get together and review our findings. But for, I am not being disrespectful. I have nothing but respect for your faith. I have my no, own. No, no, I, 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 I understand. Just, I, I, I am almost certain that you will see something that will confirm the moment my eyes are seeing 
any snakes or girls or water or balls, I will believe you and we can talk different. But for now... So, you know, cognac, uh, unlike the champagne, same thing, huh? Yes. Please. Come. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, well let, let us go. Gather yeah. yourselves on the other side. So I... Uh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I I comment on the the water displacement thing and ask Luca if he had noticed that. Do did, did I notice Luca's change in demeanor when he got to the other side? Uh, you can roll psychology. Well, I mean, I'm only not interpreting anything, but yeah. Um, I mean, he, he looks. Uh, I mean, you would have known what he looked like back when, um, like when you found the hat and stuff. He looks anxious. Getting dark going into yeah. the woods, huh? Getting dark going into the woods, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. be hard to be hard to kind of put a, a pulse on why he feels that way. But oh yeah, I'm not trying to psychoanalyze yeah, him. Yeah. I know that's mm -hmm. not my my bailiwick. I just wolves know always I'm... go for the smallest one in the group. Yeah, I just noticed anything. <laughs> so, go for the smallest one in the so group. I'm going to ask him, you know, in as much as I I had this strange observation and and it looks like he, you know, was looking back at something. I ask him, "Did you see something?" I don't know. Yes, I don't. Know. I and I and I tell him that about I want to do a psych check on if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, I would love to as well. <laughs> no. I got a critical success. Because I'm starting too. to think that all of my friends are are on um, meth. For extreme success. <laughs> I, I think Luca is seeing physical Mass objects because hysteria. he's so he's so uh, removed <clears throat> from his spiritual half that he can only see manifested objects like the ball and the cap. Maybe that's why he keeps finding these physical artifacts. Mm. All I know is we are running out of, um, as the Daylight. father would say, the Lord's light or That's whatever, true. the sun, the soul. The... We'd better go find that building that wasn't on the map. It's just showing up. It's that right there. Come on, let's go. I, believe I have up. three cigarettes left and then I'm gone, huh? You see? Oh, I, I have two more packs. Don't worry, I got you. No, 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 no. Got... I have three more and then I'm gone, yeah? Uh, uh. Yeah, I got you. I'm not going to be in the woods at dark. I got you, oh, really? So it, what happens when the woods get dark? It gets dark. I'm not getting lost out here. What happens mm -hmm. is we mm -hmm. go and we have the bouillon base together in the restaurant back up the hill. Right? The bouillon base back in the bowl? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, come along, everybody. Let's, let's do it. Right. So you guys make your way uh, kind of into the wooded area. It's a bit swampier and marshier as you get a little closer uh, to the area where you saw in Love the wearing what John boots. saw in the in the drone, um, and you come across. Um, let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus, that was that was something. You come across this old old outbuilding. Like a rectory or something. Huh? Are those gravestones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. I was hoping. A... I yeah, I was thinking some of them are kind of knocked or over. Or yeah, some of them are kind of knocked over and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely seen better days. Mm -hmm. I was just not on the map. We have received bad information. If all of this is ancient, I, I glanced at one of the picture. headstones for a date. Is there a uh, yeah, so yep. a lot of the headstones and stuff are worn quite deeply. Um, you should do a rubbing. <laughs> yeah, can I do a masonry roll? You, um, you did, you did that. You did that to um, you, you. Ascertain the age of the structure and these stones, um, the oldest stones, uh, against the age of the the church. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead and give me a masonry roll. I'm spending for that one. Sure, not a problem. Uh, yeah, so, um, or you can do a push even. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, because she knows you. Because she knows you. She's like, I ain't taking that yeah. bait. She knows you so <laughs> well. 
<laughs> no bait, no bait here, buddy. All right, so uh, so yeah, so you uh, you you make that a regular success with your six points bet, um, and uh, you are able to find one particular uh, gravestone that um, kind of stands out more than the others. And then he's this one. Oh, wow. Speaking of scared wow. shit out of me, stupid. Oh my God, that's an awesome picture. Yeah. And, oh, uh, nice. and so you are able to determine uh, with a little bit of rubbing and, you know, your, your role that you made of it, uh, you're able to, whoop, I lost it. There it is. Um, you are able to tell that it says Father Gabriel Laurent. Spell that. Not that it matters. Uh, Gabriel G A. Yeah, I know that part. <laughs> the... Laurent L A U R E N. Laurent. Laurent. Okay, got it. Um, and it is dated uh, sixteen seventy five. Might be the founder of the church, for all we know. Why is this not on the records, Father? Eight, 18 what? 16. 16. 16. 75. Any birth date at all or just the death year? Just the potential. Just okay. a, just a, a, a just a date in general. It doesn't it's not there's no hyphen next to it on either side of it that you can tell. Okay. Um you would just assume that it's the date that it was put here, not necessarily the date that he passed or what have you so it could have been maybe even erected after he so, was put here could we still have no signal yeah you check your uh, your signal and you don't have anything you see this is place. why this is why next time we switch we could search his name and we would know everything but, uh, we can go back the other way yeah mm. it's not that far it is fine it's just a mistake on we, we receive faulty documents we can't we can't leave without going into the rectory we 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 passed all the way through that marsh and and there the, the spirit may be leading us the somewhere. father is right this may be the one reason why this place must be um uh, admitted into the registry i mean a black cat just crossed our path i think we're done here we can come back tomorrow <laughs> lucas uh, can, don't you want to see this through to the end at the very least why would we come back tomorrow? It's it's so treacherous. We just go now quickly, and then we well, we go yeah. back and we drink. Right and... Here, let's do this. It's okay, Lucas. Is the, is the sun down already? We can go. Let's go. It's let's good. Go. We we have to. It's going to take us half an hour to get back to the building, and we're losing light. Then let's go. Yeah, let's let's go quickly then. Dude, dude, do we have flashlights? Anyone? Anyone yeah. on phone? Oh, look, look, <laughs> beep. Okay, good. Our I just yeah. my my phone yeah. one out of my cargo pants. Dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you guys, uh, you guys see that, um, and you make your way over towards uh, the building itself. Um, you definitely think that the gravestones were here before the building was erected. Mm. The stone, the stone <laughs> in the gravestones was it's older than the stonework in the building, and. The stonework of the building is older than the stonework of the church on the, on the ridge. Okay. Over the St. Road. This is fascinating. This is fascinating. I'm taking notes on my on my clipboard. Mm -hmm. Historically, you know that churches and holy sites are typically built near or on top of each other. Commonly in history. Is there anything that you can tell from the difference in the um, the architecture and, and whatnot uh, as to who was here first and and whatnot? Any significance that we should record for the records? Record for the records. Who does that? Jeez. Is there any Christian symbols on this building at all? Um. Or on the stones, like the the gravestones. So funny enough you think you would now that you think about it and you're looking for it there's almost like an absence of it like you would expect to see something especially with the fact that you know that this was a father and it's not fathers and like you know had a child it's father as in a priest 
Right. Our check out man. check out the door. Is the is the door made of wood or stone? The door is made of wood. Hmm. Does it uh, is it open? Um. So yeah, you push it open. Uh, the door easily slides back and and opens wide. Um, and you take one point of sanity, Dan, as you look into just blackness. That sucks. Oh. And you have a very ominous sense as you push it open. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was trying to <sighs> adjust my sanity down one. Um, you have to hit the edit button. And are you okay? Uh, I, I, it's, 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 I felt like a, something amiss, like a presence or something. I glance I, over his shoulder, like, or, or her shoulder, actually. It's, it's like, what, what's going on here? Yonder, you're, are you okay? He uh, seems visibly shaken. I'm, from... I'm, I'm all right. I, 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 there's something, something about the darkness. Uh, and I gesture towards the door. I, I'll approach with my phone light yeah, on. Yeah, bo- I think both of us, I were there together, like dueling phones, shining lights. So oh. at first, at first, it seems like when you're shining the phone into it, you don't really, it, it doesn't really get as light as you would think. But as Father Brighton gets closer to the doorway, it's almost like, the darkness is pushed back. Do I notice that discreetly, Byron, or is it just yeah. a... Yeah, you notice it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Father, you, will you back up for a moment? I, 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 I Trust was like, me. well, I, I was going to enter, Shh, but... Just back up for a moment, please. I think I see something. Oh, all right. Um, all right, Lashka, I will. And I, 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 I shove my up. arm into the darkness, where obviously it would cast at least a gray light yeah it with seems him like and it's dark right it's it's dark it definitely doesn't seem to get as bright as you would anticipate it would come okay come here now now you and i turn mine off and let's see how his light compares uh, yeah. uh, mine you could almost sense a light emanating from him you have i told you i told you i should have switched to android you were right you are absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> <Just walk away. laughs> Damn iPhone uh, flashlight. Click, click, click. Eat your battery. And I, I look, I look at you curiously, and I'm just like, "Well, I'm gonna head in." Wait, and, uh, wait, 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 wait. This is not normal. You are. I take his phone from him. I literally, he's got it in his hand. I kind of quick snatch it. Yeah. Does it make a difference in the lights that's in there? A little, but not much. Like, is it noticeable that he still projects light in there? It, it is noticeable. Uh, his presence standing next to the door shines more light than your phone does. Look, uh, I put my hand on the father's shoulder. I'll go with you. Oh, I'm coming in. Um, it's like we'll we'll go in together. I, I said, like I said, I feel like we're protected here. Uh, well, uh, I. I, want to put I don't even know what to say. I think I need to make a sanity roll, Byron. I just yeah. do. I think he's... I'll record video and sound. Wow. My yeah. I'm sorry. What was that, Jason? No, I sorry. think he's... he's. Wow. Like, there's this moment. Is it, do, am I making a sanity roll, or do I just go with it? Like, holy... You can, you can make a sanity roll. Do you think it would shake him? Mm-hmm. I, I do. I 100% do. Yeah. I'm also... Yeah, if, if I fail, let's pretend that I never said that, because... <laughs> no, no, you're. I can't ruin your immersion like that. Oh, you have, here we you go. Have to keep it. You have to keep it. You said it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you yeah. go. You made it. So yeah, it uh, it definitely uh, this supernatural stuff started to get to a little bit, but yeah, definitely not enough to. I I think that there's no weird, way but... he's he's trying to sort out some biological like. Uh, there's just no way. Yeah, it's reflecting from his like his garments. You know, he's wearing his, his <laughs> garments, we, his, his stash of. We, we, and I, I would kind of mention, like you know, in my faith, we have stories of, and I'm not going to take 
a second to look it up, but we, we have these stories of um, those who are her chosen. We must protect him. Mm. I, I am still not convinced, but I've not seen a human flashlight before. I will tell you that. It, it, it's like I feel like we're having. I feel like we, we we've all been brought here for a reason. I hold out my hand to you, Lakshya. And Lakshya, I'm like, come. It's like let's go in together. It's okay. And there's a, the cameras close up, right? Where <laughs> my 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 dark hand kind of takes yours and squeezes. This God, be, we're not going to need to see a, an episode. Be the last two, time that you touch me this way. <laughs> Yes, so do I, it. I, I'll go ahead and enter with with my friends if they it, it, whatever friends are willing. Mm -hmm. so, Let's go. Now I'm going in. That's cool. No, I'm just gonna sit out here and chew my fingernails because this is every okay. it goes against everything that I stand for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, you uh, those of you who are going to enter, I'm looking at the door like, how did this open so easily? <laughs> <laughs> uh it it is weird that it opens so easily especially with the fact that it is old uh you look at the hinges did it make any noise clearly rusted it did not oh. that's what creeps him out the most he didn't see the darkness he's like how the hell did that door just there's this is wrong this is unnatural it's that medieval that's what i keep trying to tell you but nobody wants to listen to me no screw the little frog huh 15th century WD-40 lasted for centuries. Right? Good shit. Yeah, ancient NASA. So as you guys go into uh, the doorway and into this building, uh, it kind of, the echoing off the stones uh, from your shoes, Alaska's wearing those, you know, leather mm -hmm. sold, you know, dress shoes and uh, they're kind of kicking around a little bit and scratchy the scratchiness as it drags across the the stone floor of this particular area white stylish and shoes once once inside and once you've gone in a good 15 or so feet it begins to really get brighter bright enough that you can see the setting sun through the windows <laughs> so who all went in area uh i think everybody except for is young and you mm -hmm. okay yeah all right i was gonna say if it was just the three of them i'd be like i was looking at the door so intently i didn't realize i walked in with them <laughs> like, right? but I'll, yeah, I'll stay outside i'll stay yeah. outside and so um you uh you could see the setting sun here and maybe the the picture may not show exactly the the setting sun part of it but you can see where the setting sun kind of reflects into this particular area it's very run down um and you see a pair of black leather boots kind of sticking out from behind uh this stone area are, do they appear occupied or are they laying in a way that you would lay you know what <laughs> yeah. i mean where or are they like way away from one another? No, they're they're right next to each other. Like like it would be possibly like a body with the legs sticking out. But all you see is like the boots from maybe like mid calf. So they're definitely higher boots than just like a, a short boot. Oh, like military. They would look military like, uh, I... but you're outside. Did you come inside? Oh, that was metagaming. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so do, gotcha. do they look military? They do. <laughs> mm. I, I suppose uh, I will gingerly approach and and just make sure it's not a dead body. I'll fan out the other, whichever direction the father goes, I'll, I'll loop around the other way just in case it's not a dead body and it's not a friendly <laughs> one either. Just kind of like yeah. a wide berth. I can go both, like... I'm going up with the father so I can see so I can just click what's back there yeah so you guys kind of approach from different sides and as you step around you see the body of a soldier um you recognize some of like the the markings 
on the collar. Uh, it definitely looks like a German soldier. His uh, his pants are that dark German field grau color. German what uh, era? Like World War II era? I mean, you, World War you're II, like a Nazi. Nazi. Okay. Like World War II era. Not necessarily yeah. a Nazi, but yes, a Nazi and not a Nazi. So there were <laughs> so a little bit of both. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not like SS, but definitely German military. Okay. Um, and the the face of the person is just kind of sunk in, like his cheekbones are sucked. You can still see the flesh, but it's almost mummified. And he's grasping something in his hands, a box. This this shouldn't be possible. It's it, it's it's too too well. It's obviously a body, right, Byron? Yeah, it's obviously a body. There's no there's no way we could have yeah. like basically. we we dismiss that immediately. Does it look like Marco? No. Uh, well, yes and no. Because you described the cheekbones yeah. and the sunken and if if Marco was mummified. It would look kind of like him in a way, like like he has that same gaunt, but this has been sucked in further, okay. almost like like drained or dehydrated in some way. So not rotted, like it not should rotted, be. more like mummified. Uh, uh, and like uh, I said, in his in his hands is a box. We, I, I have to, I have to have faith that we were meant to find this even though this is an impossibility this body should be a skeleton by now there are most many this, things environmentally oh, sorry. there are many things environmentally that can cause this we see this in the the peat the bogs and let's let us just don't touch don't touch let us just look so I look in close and like taken. Is there any possible? Can I can I legitimize with my history or something like this is the real uniform or this is some jackass dress like this? Um, wristwatch, anything sure, he give might me a have. Check. Give hey, me a I'm a reenactment check. asshole, and I'm going to put my hat yeah, in a van I mean, and then go mummify myself. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just a far fetch. May uh, I also help him with that? Or fucking do that? hell, someone needs to. <laughs> well, let me. Okay. Let me <laughs> Send some luck, man. Oh, there we go. Uh, I will. I will spend some. I will spend some luck. Actually, I will spend some luck as well. So, so you guys can all make it a success, and of course, so Father we all Brayden, just pile on and like, oh, yeah, like, Father oh. Brighton piles on with his hard success. Fantastic. And uh, and definitely, this does not look like a reenactment uniform. Uh, the mm -hmm. cloth itself is period dated. Um, you know, because it's very hard to make cloth the same as it was made like 80 years ago 70 years ago uh it's just the the looms and the 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 me mechanics of making the cloth mm. is not the same would uh, this be a, i'm sorry would this be a uniform from a like u-boat sailor yes and you notice his stringy blonde hair still apparent oh. he's missing his hat huh he does yeah, not have a hat, hat. what are your we, we, it's like it's like I believe we're in the realm of the divine at this point. I, I to... <laughs> Is there? Oh, forgive me, Dolly. Go ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I mean, the I'll, Nazi I'll, body. I'll, I'll go ahead and take the box. What are you oh, doing? Do not touch it. Uh, it could be diseased. I'm yeah. going to push him away. Do not touch it. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I'm gonna go down a, and take pictures so very close so we can look at Our safety them. manual Let's... prescribes specifically you do not touch things, especially not dead things. What are you doing, Father? You're going to get so, sick. Where are your gloves? Come on. So let's compare. Stories? Let's compare dexterities. Jeez, uh, okay. come on! Don't make me roll faster. dice, though. No, you don't got to roll dice. You just got to compare. Whoever's fastest is first. I have a ninety-seven. <laughs> I don't think you have a I know. I have a dice. I have a sixty. I have a sixty. It was sixty. Yeah, What's the father Brighton's? Uh forty. Forty. And and Sophia? Richard. Uh fifty. Fifty. So yeah. So Lotka's like oh. And you definitely jump in front of him before he can grab a hold of it. Um, it's like but 
You're not important. thinking. You're not thinking with your mind. We're you... supposed to find the bar. No, we are not. Huh? We are not supposed to. We are supposed to, to to decide whether or not this is a historical building. We are not supposed to get diseases <laughs> or fall off of rocks. You are on the drugs. Papa, not... let us look at this more carefully. Let us examine this box before we touch it. She's Why speaking the truth. Why is he mummified with his with his hands around this box? What has this box done to him? I. I can look over my shoulder like, oh shit, they're all crazy. I mean, I think this is about the time that we need to call the police. This is a crime scene, now, right? Is there... Can I make an anthropology roll on the box to see if I recognize it as something? Sure. I, I will I will. Ooh, I rolled an eight. I don't know what's I'll up with, a, that, with the uh, algorithm on your... <laughs> the, you are like, freaking amazing. The macros on your rolls, Dan, but that is amazing. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you look at the box. The box looks very out of place. So number one, the, 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 the wood of what it's made out of and the it doesn't have inscriptions but just the architecture or the the the, <laughs> the design of the box itself reminds you of a very old music boxes that you would find in Poland. in i'm sorry in what poland in, poland. in where in poland, poland. It's, shit, shit. it's very it's very slovak in or I Polish. I think I think that this is a Slovak, perhaps Polish origin in the box. Can I make a Polish check? No. Sure. But, I mean, seriously, can I do like, a free check? Yeah, I would, I would love that. Or Polish. Yeah, make roll for a Polak check. Yes. <laughs> I didn't say Polak. <laughs> Thanks for making me almost choke to death. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well done. Can I, can I interrupt? We've been, we've been sitting out here so, anxious uh, for a while. So actually, as as uh, Zofia makes this roll, uh, Luca and Jiang, you hear what sounds like. Ooh. Yeah, I give you a bonus. You can. You can. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. What I just clicked for the bonus penalty. Well, let me try it again. Uh, Oh, that's even worse. Oh, even worse. Yeah, you're, you're not, you don't know. But uh, Jiang and Luca, you uh, hear what sounds like a child's laughter, and you hear like some running, kind of in the grass or like footsteps. Uh, and as you turn towards the the gravestones, you kind of see like a shadow of like maybe you just didn't catch somebody in your eye, but it looked like a small child running amongst the gravestones. And she went around the backside of the church or of this building. Okay, did you see that? I was <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I don't know if the light got in my eyes, but I could swear I heard a small child. And I didn't see it earlier either, no. I did see it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and I didn't hear it in the church. I see nothing. I know nothing. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go around the corner of the church to see if I see the kid. Okay. None of these people have ever watched a horror movie in their life. <laughs> so you go around you go around the backside of the church, uh, Jiang, and you see basically another so there's another burial marker back here. I'm making oh, sure I'm oh, staying by the ox. Good. He's big. I'm staying oh, by the big guy. Oh. Ooh, I like that one. That one's Christian. That's gorgeous. And interesting. Oh uh, this looks almost as old as the one from the father out front. Are there any markings? There are markings on it. You can actually read a name with a little bit of like etching, really? like looking at the stonework and using your expertise, you can make out, it says Juliet Surin, S-U-R-I-N. Any, anything else? Great. Um, 
It has a birthday of uh, 1655 mm. and a death date of 1663. Mm. Mm. But it's very elaborate for a child's grave. Is there anything very else? Large. I looked at the rest of the, the structure. Um, for any more markings, um, I'm looking for any evidence that anybody's like laid flowers there or left toys. So yeah, you uh, you look around and you uh, give me a spy hidden roll. I assist with this, Luca. Yeah, go ahead. And uh, you can make a. Uh, like, You're not going to see anything. It's fine. <laughs> You're not uh, going to see anything. What was it? Spot hidden, you said? Uh, yeah. I want to. I want to push it. Um, <laughs> well. Welcome to my world, man. Damn. I'm going to push my roll because I I really want to find out. Sure. So describe this. to me different what is Zhang doing. And those of you out there maybe not watching or not playing Call of Cthulhu, you can push your role. You just kind of have to kind of reevaluate and re-explain what you do differently in the second time you roll. And if you um, fail... I'm going to use my clipboard to scrape off any moss on the base and, you know, like use my ah. hands to clear out weeds around the bottom. Yeah. Um, and you know widen my search field a little bit to see if you know any objects have strayed from the from nice the piece itself gardening. yeah my god okay uh, so oh. still failure but i'm going to give you an advantage die i'm going to let you reroll that tens number on that so i don't know how you do that just slash roll just, 1d10 just yeah. type in slash roll 1d10 Ooh, or can you just roll over like the uh, dice thing? Or yeah, side? you can click the dice thing too. Yeah, there's that thing. So that looks like a four. That came from well, Tyler. Tyler rolled that. Oh, oh that Tyler rolled a, that. That was an accident. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everyone, Tyler's Tyler here. I rolled a four as well. So you rolled a four as well. So that'd be at odd four. Okay. And so uh, that would basically um, give you a critical success. So you notice. Uh, that there are indentations probably about like 18 inches or so apart. Maybe, maybe not 18 inches, more like more like 15, 16 inches apart in a square area. Like something was sitting here in the dirt that maybe has been pushed down a little bit and worn on the stone a little bit also. And give me an intelligence check. Just give me an intelligence check. And I'll an intelligence check. Jesus. Oh. Your character sheet does not like you. Da, 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 da. You're Luca. welcome. <laughs> Luca, you, go you... ahead and roll. Luca, okay. Luca, Luca, you say, would you like to point this out uh, to me? Yeah, yeah. I'm Luke, so apparently bro, I, I shit your pants roll and uh, my, my spot hidden was so What do you make so of this thing here? <laughs> oh, let's be taking a look with you, huh? Wow. Hey, nice. Well, thank God one of us can put two and two together. He doesn't see anything. It looks it like looks... there's a fucking box here. No, I'm just <laughs> no it, it's it looks like the legs of a chair. Like a chair has been set here. Like a lot. Kind of where it's engraved or in, in engraved into the stone and worn into the stonework. Sort of the same stuff. Where the, the legs would in the, sit. in the chapel. Yeah, yeah, very much so. I think it's time for me. I think I'm out of cigarettes. <laughs> We're losing the light anyway. We need and, to go. And Luca, give me a sanity. Yeah, you're no problem. <laughs> Same. Could you put that together? And it's, it's a, little, a little shaking for you. Yeah, my character's smarter than I am. And there's no chair out here. There's no chair out here. The chair of insanity. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. oh dear. Burn it. Can, 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 can I use a luck on that one? <laughs> no, you can't. Not for a sanity check, you can't. Oh, but you'll take two points. Two points. Two points. All right. That's just to wait the darkness. Uh, yeah, two points of sanity. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sanity <laughs> that's just called a Monday um, these days. Right, that's, that's right. a Monday, yeah. right? Exactly. So with that, we will kind of shift back over to Zofia and the others in the building. Uh, and so you, uh, Zayanda, you definitely uh, notice that it is uh, Slovak or Polish in origin. Uh, something about the way the wood is carved and stuff like that. And um, so, yeah. Is how it opens obvious? Yeah, it's it's obvious. It looks like it has a hinge. Oh, wait. Okay. Do you are, want, you, are we even touching you, it, much less opening it? I'm not touching it. I'm I'm looking at it. And, okay, um, okay. I'm uh, like, okay. I'll like maybe use my pencil to maybe turn it over a little bit to see where the, it has hinges. I say, it has two hinges. Does it have a clasp? It does not. And no clasp at all. What are we doing? We just agreed we weren't going to touch it. Have you lost your mind? Where We need gloves or kick it. I'm or touching it with a pencil. It's a pencil. I would say you would have gloves available. Sophia probably has them in her pockets, if nothing else. Absolutely. Here, oh, I'll yeah, in all those pair. pockets. I'll take a pair, slip, slip. She's like the what character guys... in the cartoon that pulls the shit out of his hair. <laughs> you guys are investigating a historical site. Having yeah, 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 exactly. Very, very commonplace. Fair. So, so uh, yeah, I think we, we don gloves. Mm -hmm. We do not want... We, for one, we do not know where this corpse came from. It is old. Uh -huh. And this, I, 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 someone said it's a crime scene. Luca, you weren't there, so that didn't. No, um, yeah. but I was outside the door when you guys were doing that. I was looking at the hinges and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you overheard it, but I'm, this is a crime scene. There's a dead body oh. here. We do not know how it died. Lashka, I mean, this body is mummified, and and the clothing, as we talked about, is quite old. I mean. There's no inv investigation. This is still a, a historical site. However, even more importantly is we're being guided here by a greater power that wants us to see this through. Surely yeah, your greater power does not endorse defiling the dead, Father. L L Lashka, perhaps you should be the one to open the box. I do not want to open the box. I have not said anything about box opening. What I have said is do not touch the dead body and get sick. We don't have to touch the dead body. I know body that is that what I am body. saying. And he's he's just literally just tantruming and just wait. Let us be rational. Yes. Yonda goes over to Lashka and gives him a hug. It's okay. okay. What it's okay. are you doing? Get off of me, it's woman! You are. Right. No, no, I'm not touching it with a pencil. I have the pencil in my other hand. It's okay. It's so okay. Zyong, Zyong and Luca, you can hear some kind of. Uh, uh, heightened voices from inside. The point is, I, 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 I'm, I, it is all fine. We cannot disturb this site. This just does not belong to us. You know, we, Doc, you know, Father, while I'm hugging him, you could probably grab the box. Yeah. <laughs> I am <laughs> trying to get I, I, my I, way I, out. I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I love I, that. I'll, I'll go ahead and grab the box. I while, love that, Dan. That's awesome. <laughs> get off of me. Oh. So as you as you grab the box, Father Brighton, and pull it, you kind of, okay, okay. For for a moment, you have to kind of tug on a little bit because the guy's hands are ripped around it. Uh, but as you pull it a little bit, its hands like relax. Yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, I know. That was, that's why it was funny you had that number one. But um, <laughs> but yeah, his hands like relax a little bit, and um, you hear music as it i think that the struggle kind of stops right bit. like we all look back so this one has a hasp so just ignore the hasp uh I didn't, I didn't, so, so you notice that it kind of kicks on a little bit and it's playing for a moment then you realize it's the same song that Zofia was humming earlier. No! So, Zofia, it, it, it's it's the song. You see, the, 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 the angel is, is, has a message for you, too. Close the box. Sionda, get off from me. This I is didn't even open it yet. 
It just, it it's just open. as you pulled it oh, out, it open. kicked open a little bit. What uh, is there like a little spinning Cthulhu or something? What is it in there? Is it like a unicorn or any? What is it? Or is it just like the mechanism? Like the no, brass? It's not open. Oh, okay, no, there no, you go. Oh, gross. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just that. a mechanism. And it's so gross. Just yeah, I said, man. oh, gross. I don't like shit like this. It's freaking me I, out right I now. I smell an engineering tucked, role in my future. Yeah. Tucked, tucked inside <laughs> the box, tucked inside the box is a journal. See, this was what we were meant to find. No, this is what we are not meant to touch. I have told you, we have gone too far. We have to. You it, broke its, its hand off. Through. No, it, it released it. It did nothing of the sort. It is dead. It is like jerky. You must stop this madness. It, it's like, it, 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 let's try to see what's in the journal at the very end. Yeah, I want to reach in with like two fingers and try to pull it out. I take yeah, a couple steps uh, back. I'm starting to get super freaked out. I'm buying into it now, kind of. like uh, It's playing loudly. You can hear it. Can we hear the music from outside? So... At first, you don't hear the music, but then it starts to like make its way outside and echo. It's echoing in this chamber that it's playing in. We like start to acoustics. hear it. We and start to hear it, it right as I uh, uh, describe the chair yeah. in the in and the you chapel. Hear, <laughs> you hear a like like a girl laughing, and then you look at the side of the building as you look at the back side of the building, and there's another door that's kind of ajar that's open on the back side of the building. Ooh. Did it look like- What the hell? Uh, did we step inside or only people outside saw that? Only people outside see that. Once I get the journal out, you should sh you should shut this box. I, 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 I will, if the song sounds like it's gonna go on repeat. Uh, it doesn't go on for sh to repeat, but what's uh, what's written on the um? Is it's just the, the, the is there music? a musical verse? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a musical verse, is what's written on that thing, and it's uh the the words that are written there are written in uh in uh, Polish. Oh, and it does say. Oh, uh, translate it. So I was going to ask before we um change locations here whether I could roll masonry to determine the origin of the, um, or the influences of the, of this graves marker. Yeah, for sure. So Great. the, in, the influences of the grave marker outside would be French. It's just old, old French. So there's no kind of influences that would lead you to believe it was done by anyone. Okay. Other than, you know, okay. Um, I guess uh, Luca, you, let's go in and see what this music's about. Yeah, you know the Nazis looted many artifacts from mm -hmm. all over Europe. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this Nazi looted a Polish artifact of some sort. Possibly. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they ever went to Poland. I, I, I believe Zofia, you have the journal. I, don't think they ever went to I, I have the journal. Yeah. I Zofia. wonder if this came from because the. Uh, some of the Polish Jews were actually sent to camps in France. They weren't extermination camps. They were, uh, I can't remember what they actually called them, but it was almost like a pre-concentration camp. Um, yeah, and this camps. may have been brought yeah. here by, you know, maybe by a Polish Jew, or perhaps this was, you know, conf you know, taken by Nazis. I don't know, but I, there's a possibility. I, 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 this place is old. Mm -hmm. I, well, this is a lot of speculation, to be honest with you, Sophia. But no, <laughs> that's speculation. <laughs> Everything else ah. has been real. <laughs> it, it, it's like no, it's have you ever yeah, right. Have you considered that. Mr. After, there's an angel trying to communicate with us. <laughs> after the after the Germans uh, hurt that town, mm -hmm. is it possible that they came here and they were punished by they were they 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 got their just reward when they tried to come here? So and, why not? 
one thing that you would know already based off the information that you have found that maybe you as players are overlooking, but your characters would have been able to put it together at this point mm -hmm. too, would be that the the Nazis that did the atrocities in this in that town were uh, SS Panzer Division mm, Germans, God. and this gentleman is wearing a Kriegsmarine U-boat outfit. And in addition to that, the hat that you found was also like a U-boat. And it mm -hmm. matches, yeah. It matches yeah, yeah. that style. So the two units should be nowhere near each other. Mm. That's it, just more of a coincidence that they're both German military uniforms. Mm -hmm. well, sure. But you do know from your history role that U-boats operated all up and down the coast of France and some... all over Europe for that matter and actually all the way to the United States so they may, who, who knows perhaps a U-boat crew came here and was investigating something and they were the, the angel or spirit if you want to call it that decided to get revenge upon them mm. what happened to the town even though no. what, they awesome. might not have been the person, people who did it. I, I'm just, it's just all conjecture. I mean, well, it might have just been someone coming in and like, oh, let's try to destroy what's here and they are attacked. I'm sorry, Zionda, go ahead. Let's not ignore the fact that the, that it actually might be the box that brought the U-boat officer here. Is there any connection, can I make an anthropology or anything between this structure, how it's built? Is it any reminiscent of Polish in any way and, and the box? It is not. And Jiang would have been able to answer that when he investigated the stuff. Okay. okay. So it maybe you're right. A French thing. So uh, Luca and Jiang, do you guys make your way inside? Yeah. I think you're I think you're met first with uh, I am backing toward the door, watching this and just disbelief yeah. of all yeah. this stuff that's flying around. This we, is madness. We, um, this we is found a, a, some amazing things, Lucas and Jong. As he's shouting over my shoulder, I'm, and I'm trying to warn you, like, they have gone mad. They have gone mad. They are disturbing the corpses and touching it's boxes. It's just a box. It's I, just I, a box. No, 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 no. Europeans, we don't touch any corpse. It doesn't matter if it's a thousand years old. You have to call the corner in. I, but, <laughs> what <laughs> corpse? That one! Look at the it! The boots the right there! Again. It's a dead... Look, those boots, those boots belong to friends. Those oh, are, are a dead man. Shit! Hey, Byron, and... did you say if there's any obvious cause of death on the body, like bullet holes or anything, or is it perfectly intact? It looks intact from what you can tell. You so... don't see any... You do notice that, like, his fingernails, like, mm -hmm. he clawed at, like, you could make the, the idea that he clawed at, like, stone. And stuff okay. like that to the point where he eroded the tips of his bones. Clawed at the stone like he's trying to move or get away from something? Possibly. Like on his side or hard. like above him? Or, or dig out of a coffin. Stone coffin. It, it's it's hard to hard to say. Um, you don't see any evidence of oh. anything around here that he could have been holding on to. Uh, but he, they could tell you he had a pretty firm hold on mm -hmm. the box. Yeah. I came in that back door, uh, and, I'm like yelling at them and going out the other door. <laughs> Sophia, you did have the journal. Didn't yes, you? I, I've got the journal. Is there blood on the box? Because I mean, because if he like if his fingertips were destroyed, and then he grabbed the box and held on to it, there is not would... okay. any blood on the box or any markings that would lead you to believe that the the box itself is stained by like blood holding on to it or something. So you would feel as if when he grabbed it, his fingers weren't bleeding. Okay. And like I said, the skin and stuff on his hands and his face is is more mummified, like it's been devoid of moisture. Byron, can I take a look? My, my historical um, readings would have would have brushed me up against a lot of occult topics. Could I make, yeah. I don't have much in the way of occult, but can I try an occult yeah. role to see if there's anything I can glean? Sure. Shit, wow. Nice. I got a regular success yeah. there. Okay, 
So, uh, so yeah, I mean, you could definitely um, make some determination that uh, in Polish uh, and even in uh, in Jewish um, religion, there is uh, things of spirit that would inhabit boxes. It's a Dybbuk box, yeah? It's almost like a Dybbuk box. Yeah. I, 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 wait. Absolutely. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't touch the box! <laughs> this is for different well, I, reason. I, 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 I look up at you curiously. I'm like, I'm already touching the box right now. Don't but touch. Get away. With the gloves. Get away from the box. Uh, and the Sophia, box. you did pull that journal out of the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pulled that journal out. I'm going to open. I, I want to look at the outside of the journal. Is there anything written, any name, any anything? Uh, there is not anything written on the outside of the box or anything like that. Um, on In the journal itself, yeah. Um, when you open the first page, uh, yeah, it yeah, is yeah. It, it is written in German, and it says the personal journal of uh, Obst Lieutenant Felix Bauer. Sometimes these boxes and can contain spirits. Below She's... that, it says like Kriegsmarine U two o six. I'm trying to interrupt her reading okay. this. If I do, I Byron, do, I don't not sure if I saw it coming out of the box. Do I know that that's where she got it from? Um, you were over there. You could. I, I would let you determine whether or not you could have seen it or or so forth. Father, help me, please. Understand that the, 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 the Lord speaks of spirits that inhabit boxes. Um, yes, but, how, boxes. but however, the power of God supersedes the power of any spirit. So you say. <laughs> But that is not what we are seeing. Please do not read that. Put it down. Perchance, all of this madness is true. Please. We're being guided, Lashka, we're being, we're being guided to find uh, these historical facts. I don't know where it's going to take us. But, like, like but God, but God era, wants man. us to see it through to its conclusion. It's like, if you can just accept that, uh, it would be yeah, easy. Yeah. Pan Pandora's box or no. the uh, apple from the Garden of Eden. You do, you do not understand. Hey, uh, all that we are seeing here, this is now making sense to me. This is a dibuk box. I'm going outside. What's a, what, what is a dibuk box? A dibuk box, box is um, the, the Jewish faith. They believe uh, evil spirits can be entombed in boxes. And sometimes um, things that are close to them are put in the boxes to imprison the spirit. Mm, and well, she has it in her hand. I'm backing toward the door. Well, it, it, also, it, I'm totally reading it. Uh, I wouldn't. Sorry, I, I wouldn't put any stock by uh, by the Jewish belief in in Kabbalistic magic. But you, but you, but you would, but you would insinuate that that your God is getting involved in in the the, the, the uh, admission of properties into historic records. What is wrong with you? We don't know. It's just a box. It could just uh, be a box. Uh, so, so was the Ark of the Covenant, huh? It, it's a music box. It had a oh. journal in it. It's a it's a, a dead soldier going outside. I mean, it, it could be nothing. We're just, I think that you're getting a little overworked, my friend. I mean, please, please everyone. We just have to, we just have to have faith that God has led us to the, to this point. We don't need to take stock in old Jewish superstitions to, to, to determine our next course of action. In, in well, fact, I know you mean well, but perhaps you could state that in a more gentle way. I, let us I think not indulge. Gentile way, please. Let us I, not I, indulge more recent and arguably more exclusive beliefs. Please, we yes, are I'm not defiling the dead. Beliefs here. I respect the Jew, the Jewish faith as much as anyone. We have a we have a common basis for our, our belief system. However, there are certain aspects of the Jewish faith which I regrettably have to say. Are, do not align with Catholic doctrine. You you believe in evil, yes? So, yes or no? You have seen things that you did not expect here, and now it has led us to the, the pinnacle of evil, which is one of, if what we are seeing is true, this this is a perpetrator of awful m murder, genocide. We should not He's touch a, it. He's a U-boat commander. It, they don't they didn't do genocide in, in the U-boats. I mean, they killed soldiers at sea. I mean... And then people drowned. It was awful. It I wasn't. Awful. I wasn't asking for an anal analysis of the Nazi org chart. What I was looking for was an admission that we are looking at something that shouldn't be here, 
and we should not be touching it with our hands. And she's now halfway through the book and she thinks it's a good read. We are in trouble here. (laughs) (laughs) So anyone can make either a history or religion role. Can I make a a psychology role on Zothea to see if she's okay? Bam. Regular success. She's okay. Oh, I failed my history. Wait, I'm going to use luck. Okay, Wait, am I allowed to roll? Success? Yeah, you, you you can push it and re-roll. Or just or spend the luck. You can I'm just spend the luck. luck. Can I use, at this point, I always spend the luck, yeah. Could I use anthropology instead of history? You could use anthropology, sure, because, I mean, that's kind of associated with history and stuff like that. Um, and I'd also like to see Father Brighton make a religion roll. <laughs> I'm, I'm outside <laughs> lighting up another cigarette. It's oh, not going back outside? Does. Yeah. Okay. Did the last one? Oh, Ooh. hard success. Oh, hard success. God damn. Okay. So, uh, um, is, is religion on here? Shit. Yes. Um, oh, it's not. Maybe? No. Is there not a religion mm, It's not. I'm sorry. Not? Hmm. I thought, yeah, I thought you would have religion. It would be an addition yeah. still. It, 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 it would be a, a good addition. <laughs> give me a power check. Just give me a power oh, roll. No. Uh, Who? A, uh, Father Brain. Make, oh, it, make it a power roll. <laughs> okay, nope. Wow. Boom. Wow. Okay. So with that hard success for the anthropology, the successful Laksha with his history success, and also um Sophia. Uh Zhiang, did you mention anything about what you found outside? No, oh, I haven't had a chance with them yeah. fighting. I had a chance they they the walked box. into a shit show. Yeah. <laughs> I, I realized after I asked you roll that maybe it was that Jung had to share. But, I mean, I'm outside talking to Juliet now. I mean, I would have been reading anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you find a reference, Zofia, to a uh, Juliet Surin. <laughs> and Felix Bauer believed in this journal, he was convinced that she was the granddaughter of a gentleman named Jean Joseph Surin. Jean Joseph Surin. He was okay. a French Jesuit mystic preacher. He was also a devotional writer and an exorcist. Yes. Nice. But he died in 1665. 1665. Ten years before that grave. She didn't she die in, in 68? Oh, 63. 63. Oh, she died. 63. oh, that was 75. Okay. Yeah, 75. Oh, yeah. Was 75 was for the father. Yeah. Yeah, 1675. You guys don't know about her yet. Nope, we don't know anything. I just, well, you know a little bit about grave. her because she's mentioned in the journal. I mean, yeah, right. right I but like them. But the, they wouldn't. They don't know about the, the grave outside. They don't know about the grave yet. They don't know about so, the grave outside. So Felix is looking for her. Is that what he said? I mean, is that what no, you said? No, he just mentions that he said that he thinks he saw her here. So he references the grave outside. In the journal. Oh my God! How, there's a grave out back. How he was oh, left alone. Yes, there's a grave out back. <laughs> We're I'm in sorry. a graveyard. He now. was left alone. And what? I'm sorry. I'm being a dork. That he was left alone here. And the rest of the U-boat crew made its way away, and he was left here with her. Abandoned on purpose? Possibly. With her in her grave? We don't know when he died. Oh, well, no, we do know when he died. I mean, sometime past the 1600s. Yeah. Yeah, You know the German died at least 80 years ago, 70 years ago. So out, out, of, out of character, uh, Gion, did you share what you found out there? Yeah, that's going to be important, right? Uh, now, know, now that Sophia has mentioned this girl in, um, in, in her grave, I'm like, yes, there's a grave out back. It's her grave. And, and there's a Zofia, grave being crossed. And Sophia, you, meant, you, you talked about the journal with mm-hmm. us. Okay. I'm like... I'm not looking up from the journal. I'm just saying it. Yeah. And just keep reading. Oh, you're saying it out loud. Yes, Uh, I'm saying it to you guys. Like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. This is incredible. It's like, 
is it possible that the person I felt that, that me and Lucas felt in the sanctuary was Juliet trying right. to reach out to us? I mean, this would go against my angel theory and change. It would go against my very doctrine if it was a human soul. So as Father Brighton is speaking, I picture that Sophia is kind of flipping in the book, looking for references and so forth. And a folded piece of paper falls out of the back of the journal. Yes. Ooh. And it kind of like, kind of wavers in the wind or in the, the air, kind of like a piece of paper would flutter or float. And it finds its way onto the floor as gravity takes over and pulls it kind of into the dust. Um, Drop something, Z Sophia. Does any, I'll reach out and grab it unless anyone else wants to grab it. No, we, it. we discussed this. this is, you're right. now already tainted. It's fine. You will be Absolutely. full of dibbix. <laughs> You are already the date. <laughs> right. You open it. You open it. And it shows a sketch. A sketch Ooh. of the church. The church that I don't know about because I didn't go inside and you look at in. it. Oh, yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, I was upstairs. Yeah. So as you're looking at it. But I will it, say, like, oh, here's a sketch. Does Do you guys recognize this? Oh, I'm sorry. So, Father Brighton, you see it. And where is Luca? Outside. 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 Okay. He is out the hell side. And, uh, I, I, I literally go, like, Juliet? Jiang, are you <laughs> present? Or yeah. where are you at? Okay, so you're Juliet? present here. And so, Father Brighton, you look at this paper. And something strikes you, two things. Number one, the chairs. The chairs are pushed up with the back against the column. And as you look at this, you realize that those statues, they'd be about the same size as the kid that you saw, and they're all children. No. And Jiang, you look at the chair, and Father, you look at the chair, that's the same chair at the altar. And that's the same size as the indentations on the stonework at Juliet's grave. I or go over marker. to the chairs, and, and I want to see if any of them have wear at the, that is consistent with being. So there's no chairs here. No. Oh. This oh, is just a sketch. Altar, yeah, this is a sketch of it. But you said it was by chairs by the altar. Father. Yeah, the, I was describing the other, what the father, yeah. The, the statues up at the church on the hill, what were they of? What were the depictions? What saints or... Shit, I don't even know about that. Were, 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 uh, well, uh, were, they, uh, were they children? In, in, it's inside, right? No. They weren't. So they the were, statues in the in the sketch are children but the statues in the real church are not children correct maybe this is an earlier drawing and maybe underneath the current facade are these original you know, oh we are no we are not destroying church artifacts we are not doing that but, we, we, and furthermore, we are losing yeah there's light. a voice we of ascent to to mainland we are trying to preserve this place not not make it worse? What are you no, doing? No. Nothing's been done so far except yeah. for opening a journal. Now, now, now I believe that our, our our journey is to find the truth. Oh, no. I think our journey is to find some champagne and cognac and get the hell out of here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. our journey right now needs to be back to our, our vehicle. You're right. We should we should leave. Juliet, <laughs> I'm sorry. Please Catch don't question. Me. We'll be back. Fire. We're not leaving forever. This ahead, thing man. in the middle of the room right here, is that a well? No, it's, no, it's, a, a, like it's altar. a square altar-ish type thing. You don't know if the light comes off. You have a Dance like How, how wide is it? Because the, the oh. Felix's body was behind it, correct? 
yeah, yeah Felix but whoever was buried there in 1600s is still probably in there. Yeah. Are there yeah, any I, I, are there any discolorations or anything that would indicate usage for a less um, uh, appetizing purpose? So dark stains, oh, like a sacrificial, or mm-hmm. like any kind of dark. No, uh, so it's all nothing like that. Such nothing that we. So with that, we are actually at midnight. Yeah, so I do what? think we have a this little a really bit more to go. To so I think we are gonna have to do a part two.